Greetings and welcome to the Dungeon Run, a live tabletop role-playing game where your interaction helps tell the tale. I am Lord Erebon, Keeper of Secrets, and your host for tonight's campaign. Mm. Together, we stand witness as our intrepid adventurers face terrible danger and most certain doom in their quest for glory, valor, and most importantly, treasure. Throughout our time together, you will be called upon to help guide decisions made within the game. In addition to our live chat interactions, those that are brave enough can purchase one of three unique digital items. You could bestow upon the adventuring party the gift of advantage, the ability to roll two 20-sided dice at once. Or perhaps you want to be the wind at our adventurers' backs and allow them to draw from the force of good deck. And finally, to add an additional challenge to the adventure, you could purchase a force of evil card. Oh, and here's something exciting. Oh, I love excitement. You should too. You can submit your idea for a force of good or force of evil card, and we might use it on the show. Ah, Yes. So, do you dabble in cleverness? Well, head over to thedungeonrun.fandom.com to submit. You can upload your fan art there as well. Now, let's meet tonight's brave souls, our cast of characters, if you will. So, please welcome... Katie Michaels oh, as Lily Dumblestock. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Ronald Ogden as Ugo. <laughs> ah! So exciting. Morgan Peter Brown as James Quillis. <laughs> <laughs> so much humor. Jessica Lynn Parsons as Fahima Tig. Hello. So sweet. Jared K. Jack as Siv Red Thistle. Jellybean, your dice are on the way. I had a, a, a little uh, a little thing happen this weekend that took up some time. I became a dad. You're a f- What? Yeah. You're a father? Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. So I got them in the mail, and they should be to you by Thursday or Friday. Let wonderful. me know when you get them. What a wonderful... Thank you. You're amazing. Really. And finally... Our dungeon master himself, Mr. Jeff Canotta. Lord Araban, how are you doing tonight? I'm good, you? I'm doing fantastic. Excited to start. I love you, Jeff. Enjoy. Now, as their journey continues, I, Lord Araban, will be joining you in your social conversation around the game. So keep an eye out for my avatar and comments. Oh, and before we begin, I have a favor to ask of you. It would give me great pleasure if you would share the show. Just click below and let all of your admirers know that you are watching the dungeon run. Please? Now, keep the comments coming, be ever vigilant, and let the dice roll! All right! You guys ready to play? Yes. Yes. This has been the longest week ever. <laughs> well, Seriously. F- long for some of us more than others, Jared Kajak, yeah, as he yeah. mentioned, has become a father. Yeah. To the new Cheers. congratulations. And Cheers. on behalf of everybody here, all the cast and crew, we have a, a little little gift for you. Oh. Yes, a, a, a little a, a chest, oh. if you may. Nice. A Sweet. chest oh. That's so cute. for awesome. your your newborn son and for nice. your lovely wife and yourself. Uh, congratulations from all diapers. of us. Perfect. <laughs> You're gonna need them. <laughs> Take it from somebody who knows. All right. That's uh, so you can, sweet. You can clear that for you if you need. Um, all right. Thank you, Anna. So amazing. New Thank life. Maybe some death, who knows? <laughs> uh, let's catch everybody up, shall we? Oh. Yeah. As you all know. It started as a simple dungeon run. (laughs) A quick adventure to raid an abandoned dragon's lair for treasure, and what treasure it was! The Secret Keeper's amulet is what our team found, 
an object of powerful chaos magic, capable of poking through the barrier between realities to communicate with you, the watchers of the time stream, gods who are able to affect our reality with forces of good or forces of evil. Our team learned this fact from Torvald, the Timid, one of a group of wizards known as the Natural Order, whose mission is to maintain balance in the realms of iron. From his makeshift camp, Torvald sent our team to investigate a fallen tower in the woods where they rescued Diphtha, a mysterious sky child and former steward of the fallen tower, who urged them to make their way up to a similar structure still floating in the air, resting on the clouds. Called Lodestars, these towers were once beacons, sanctuaries for magical flying creatures of all kinds. But this one seems to have been taken over by a mad tinker named Fardinald Urtenfurt. <laughs> <laughs> when our team arrived at the floating Lodestar in the clouds, they found it was retrofit with strange mechanical contraptions. One of these, appearing to be an unlocking mechanism at the front door, randomly sliced Ugo and Fahima and transported their severed flesh up to Ertenfurt's penthouse at the top of the tower. We did not know that detail. <laughs> not know that. Learned something new. Like that. I thought we put that together. Uh, uh, no. No. Thought it was magic. Severed yep. flesh. You guys have one of those. Don't you guys have one of those in your front door? <laughs> 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 More surprising still, I mean. when they entered the main chamber of the Lodestar, Siv, Fahima, James, Ugo, and Lily saw this. Something they thought only existed in stories. A warden, one of the sovereign protectors of the realms, who, the stories say, were put in place after the great war of ideas hundreds of years ago to watch over the lands. The Wardens are said to be the reason that the realms have stayed safe for generations, and yet no one has laid eyes on one for nearly as long. Well, until now. Chained, imprisoned, shackled to multiple floors of this massive tower, attended by an army of clockwork automatons, and seemingly powering the strange mechanical constructions with its elemental lightning surges, the massive Storm Warden stands helpless. Last week, our team ascended the tower, battling and beguiling numerous robot attackers, floor after floor, solving the bottommost lock and freeing the warden's feet. When we left off, Siv and Lily had turned to the amulet for help in figuring out the second warden lock, and James, Fahima, and Ugo had dashed their way to the topmost chamber of the tower, attacking a small gnomish man they found there. <laughs> <laughs> but not before he managed to pull a lever. The mm. door at the top of the, tears, uh, at the top of the stairs swung open, revealing two <laughs> naked, gray, amorphous figures, smoke mm -hmm. rising from their shoulders, <laughs> features ill-formed, dripping and wet. Two creatures that look shockingly like Fahima and Ugo. And that's where we pick up tonight. Oh. So, uh, <clears throat> I broke one of my cardinal rules last mm -hmm. week, and that is to stop in the middle of an encounter. <laughs> oh, yeah. But we did. Uh, so we're going to hit the ground running tonight. We are in an encounter. We have uh, already rolled our initiative. We're carrying that over from last week because we stopped yeah. mid-encounter. Luckily, we're at the top of a round, uh, but we have uh, two new entrants into that fight. So they are going to go. And like I said, we're... we're we're starting hot. Who has the uh, the amulet? Uh, uh, Lily does. Pass that down to Lily for me, please. Uh, I'm going to affectionately name him Nuggo. <laughs> Nuggo, not Uggo. Nuggo. I like Nugga, it. Uggo. Uh, okay. So. Uh, oops, wrong direction. There it is. Um, we have. Please, Susan. <clears throat> at the top of the stairs. <laughs> here. Uh, we have not Nuggo and Namima. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna do it. Get away! Uh, you see them there. 
Uh, you are standing in this chamber. It is a mad scientist lair. It is full of contraptions moving and uh, making sound and heat. Uh, it has got tables with papers and it's disheveled. And as you hear that door open and you see these creatures that look like bizarro versions of yourselves, uh, you hear or see the not Fahima move her hands oh, and <gasps> a flaming sphere oh. appears. So I need the three of you to roll dexterity saving throws, please. Oh. Like I said, we're starting hot. We're hitting the ground running, baby. Oh, wow. And when I mean hot, wow. I mean wow. flaming wow. sphere I'm really, hot. I'm really, really loving that I'm a barbarian Haste. right now for uh, a dexterity saving throw. I'm, I'm still hasted, so I Fahima, think I... you do have advantage from Proco. Meep gives me advantage on this one. So oh, maybe yes. can I save it for the next one? Then your one? next roll will have advantage. Okay. I, I'm still hasted, which I believe gives me uh, advantage on dex saving throws. You said dex, yes? Yes, yeah. indeed. Oh, phew, okay. 17 okay. for me. Uh, yeah, that saves. 17. Nice. <laughs> nice. No, no joke. Nice. 17. Three wow. 17s. Look at that. All right. You know what's crazy? <clears throat> but Triple we'll take 17s. half. My baby was born on the 17th. Oh, wow. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. The, you if, got, you're, if you're into that. You got Good night, hands. everybody. <laughs> Just All right. leave. So we've got uh, four points of damage taken in half. Uh, so two okay. points of damage for Aren't each you of you. Fire? Yeah, so you take one. Is it, oh, of course, it's fire damage. Yes, yeah, so you take yeah. half of that. Yeah, yes. half we of still half. have those temporary hit yeah. points yeah. that the group hug gave us. Yep. So, so <laughs> two hit points to Elgo and I, one hit point to Fahim's. Cool. All right. Fahim's? Uh, I'm working on shortening. Never mind. <laughs> so what happens is a ball of fire. You, you see this this gray oh, amorphous man. figure move her hands uh, in, a, in a swirling motion and a ball of fire erupts around you. Uh, you are standing in a circle around this small gnomish man that you just, Ugo had just smacked with his maul, breaking him and, and cracking his bones. And you see this fireball, this giant sphere of swirling flame appear almost on top of him. Oh no. And it burns it, it singes uh, the three of you, although it doesn't. You don't feel its full effect, but it does land with a wallop on oh, him, oh, and you see him scream and fall to the ground oh. uh, and sort of catch fire. His clothes burning uh, in front of you. What? Finishing her turn, wow. Fahima slams the door closed. You hear noises from behind you, and not Fahima. Not Fahima. Evil Fahima. Nuggo and. <laughs> Unhema? Oh, there we go. Oh, Azara, Fahima, Fahima. 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 That sounds like a bad beer. That's, that's a crazy, that's, <laughs> a, uh, that's a, that's a, so a you, malt beverage drink that was popular in the 90s. <laughs> so the door has shut. We are at Siv's turn. Uh, Siv yeah. and Lily are down, mm, down me. Over here. Oh, oh wait. Yeah. Oh, Let's a, get a good oh, view I'm of that. I'm afraid to ask. You said the door was shut. The door to the door that we came through is shut, or the door to the top is shut. The door to the top is shut. What oh, did she shut them what out? did Nuggo do? He, you saw him do nothing. Okay, good. Thank God. So she's inside <laughs> and shut them out, or she's outside. She's out. She and shut created us a in. ball of fire yeah. and then sh slammed the door. Shut us into this room. Yeah. Okay. The oh, ball great. of fire is still there. Great. The ball of fire is still there. In fact, so. I will put. Where is. Hmm. So Siv and Lily are standing here. Okay. You still look uh, like a robot. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Lily Oops. has been. Uh, okay. She disguised self as uh, one of these robots and has yeah. been miraculously, beautifully performing the role. Thank you. Uh, for for a long time now. Yeah. Uh, the ro <laughs> the robots are completely transfixed by it. Uh, believe it, a hundred percent. Uh, and you just asked the amulet for help. It delivered this urn that seems to have a message inside it. Right. And on your turn, you, you were going to hand it to Yeah, and the, there's a robot behind me too, correct? Who yeah. kind of There's was... a robot behind you and there's a robot sort of in front of you that attempted to hit Siv yeah. on his last turn. Uh, yeah, and I had told you to hit me. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, did. Yeah. You did and tell. I was totally confused. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what? Uh, no, I need your help. Come with me. I, but, okay, but I have to convince them or else they're gonna catch on. <laughs> um, hmm. uh, Listen. I'm, just come with me. I'm going to okay. reach out and grab you. Okay. Like, 
<laughs> forcefully, and then I'm gonna lift her up and carry her and start running around the ring. If you don't want him to do that, you're more than welcome to resist the grapple. No, it's okay. I'll just beep while he does it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Beep, All right. Beep, beep, so beep, as if it was a, 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 a grapple attack, but I'm going to not hurt her. All right. Her, well, obviously. she's a willing creature. I'm right. not gonna make you do the strength check because she either. weighs yep. a sneeze. Yeah. Thirty pounds. Uh, yeah. So Thirty pounds. Uh, yeah. And then I want to carry her, and she can hold onto the urn, hopefully, and I'll just start running around the ring over to here. <laughs> so if you leave, uh, if you leave this space, the robot will That's do it. That's fine. A, he, he can have the opportunity. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I kind of saw that coming. Yeah. Oh, it's a natural twenty. Oh. Uh, ouch. oh. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, so we're gonna do awesome. <laughs> it was an awesome, but not so much for you. Coming in hot. And we are. <laughs> Back to these guys. That's what temporary hit points are for. That's right. Yeah, That's exactly. what temporary hit points are for, indeed. I feel much less squishy. And get his 20s out now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He got Nuggle and then he managed yeah. to take care of <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> that is um, I like eight Grahima. points of damage. Okay. Dang, bro. Okay. So, you, but you do skedaddle out of there carrying your tiny friend, and where you're going around this way toward the stairs? Yeah, I'm bolting. I'm pretending right, so like I'm proud the, of that robot I'm for gonna hitting use, him. I'm going to use my my uh, cunning action okay. to dash, my regular movement, and I'll use my racial burst of speed so I can move a full 90. All right, that gets you to here. Okay. Cool. All right, so you're kind of... Nice. And then I'll, I'll set you down so you can actually do she something. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah no. Uh, okay, so that completes your move. Your uh, so we are to James. Me. Okay. So what you see in front of you, uh, Mr. Quillis, is uh, a fire. a five foot ball of fire. Yeah. That is that you the three of you are surrounding. That is on top of this burning gnome. Uh, it didn't go away when she shut herself out. No. Dang. Uh, I, by the way, I, should, I need to make a constitution check because I've been keeping, um, concentration check because I'm keeping darkness running inside my sleeve. Mm -hmm. So let me see if I hold on to that first, and I do. That's a four. Oh, you took a, damage, yes, you do need to make That's yes. a 13, uh, so that I hang on to that because it was only two points of damage. Um, I'm still hasted, so here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I would like to use my regular action to start to drag Ertenfurt away from, <laughs> every time that name. Um, <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, I'm gonna, to drag Ertenfurt towards the door, away from the ball of fire. Will I be able to do that? Uh, he is on fire. Okay. And he is not looking good. No, I know. <laughs> if he's unconscious, here's what I'm also going to do. I'm gonna use one of my Pack to the Tome cantrips that I haven't used yet, Spare the Dying, to stabilize him immediately. Okay. Um, and then I just wanna, I w put him out or get him away. I, I guess. I guess. Let, let's let me do get a, him away first. Okay. If, let's if, let's just let's do a. You know what? I'm gonna do a de dexterity check to okay. see if you can sort of do it without getting singed. Okay. Ooh. I think he's he's light enough that it's not gonna cause you any physical problem. Roll that. And he's okay. limp. I'm hasted, so I get advantage on that. That's a 14. Okay. Yeah. So you sort of pull him out of this burning ball of fire. Great. And uh, you see there. Are, you know even. If, if there are papers uh, in the room that are sort of catching fire Dang. and things are uh, you know, heating those. up in there, but you pull him to the side and he's slumped over, stabilized. I'm, but and so if I could get him out to the stairs, I, I want him out of the room. Okay. And stable. Yeah. Um, so basically unconscious but stable, not dying. Yeah, you can do that. So you pull him uh, to the top of. You want to pull him to the stairs or down the stairs? No, just top of the stairs is fine. Out okay. of the room is fine. Uh, no problem. You can do that. He is that's probably limp both. and easily to move. Great. So that's probably both my action to cast Spare the Dying and then my hasted action to drag him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, then, with the rest of my movement and my bonus action, I'm pro. No. I'm going to run up back towards the door. Uh, this yeah, door at the, the top of the door stairs? Yeah, the door that Nahima uh, shut. Okay. Can we move to the door without five feet? How big is the room compared to how big the sphere is? Can I get uh, the room? The room is larger than the sphere. Okay. I've literally You're, got like so much cool. movement with haste that <laughs> yeah, I don't think sure. it's going to be a problem. Sure. So it just get around the the, the flaming sphere. Yep. Open the door. Door does not open. You you push on it and it does not open. Dang. All right, that's where I'll stop. 
I will say, you did see the Snomish man pull a lever. Right. To open the door, when the door opened, so. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um, I, why am I, I'm still confused. So she's not out in on the stairs. She's through a different door. She's there's a there's above. a door to the top of the of the tower. And that's where she that's came where they from. Came, they came from. Okay. Yeah. She's, she leaned in, cast a ball of fire, and then left. Okay. If you get up there, you can actually see. Yeah, there's there's a, a stair up to the top. Okay. Um, I'm still gonna stay there. Uh, okay. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave them down with the lever. Um, and. I've already used both my actions. I'm gonna hang there and hold on to my arcane focus, which is holding darkness tucked inside my sleeve. Okay. Ready to break it back out. So that brings us to Lily. Lily, you are being carried yeah. right I now. Just, I just sat her down. Just sat her down, yeah. okay. If, and if you want to do yeah. something. You are here. to spell. Okay. <laughs> um, so uh, he sat me down, so I'm gonna, the, what are the robots doing? Uh, well, they haven't moved yet. You just okay. escaped them. One took a punch at uh, at Civ. Okay, so them. I'm gonna like a robot, pretending to be aggressive. I'm gonna put this thing down and I'm gonna pull out okay. what's in it and show it to him and like threaten him with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, just, I think this is for that. Uh, <laughs> Can I, as like a bonus action, snatch it out of her hand? Sure, I'll just let you just give it to him as, okay. as even a yeah, pretending minor I don't like action. You. you guys are on, basically on top of each other. Yeah. She can hand it to you as a minor action. Yeah. Okay, not, great. It's great. a free action. Okay. Thanks. <clears throat> just lick it and stick it to his forehead. Yeah. I, think that's, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's for the, 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 lo- the amulet spit yes, it out. Yes, it matches the symbols. It does? Yes. Uh, I will <laughs> I'll take care of it momentarily. Okay, great. <laughs> um, I will, I'm going to wait here w- with you. Yes, uh, well, can you talk to it? Uh, w- him? Him? And I point. So well, that he doesn't kill us. The, the warden? Yes, once we open the chains. Oh, yeah, I can talk to him. <laughs> you mean just like as a person? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're very comfortable talking to anyone. Communication's <laughs> my specialty. I know, that's why I, I asked you to do it. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I thought there was like a trick involved, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> not I'm sorry, everything, I think everything's a trick. Not everything I do is a trick. Happy to talk to him. <laughs> okay, I think that's your, your turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, you guys having this sweet ass conversation? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we could be having that while I'm carrying Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. okay, yeah. fair enough. Uh, if you want to do something else, you're more than welcome to do something else. I think that's a fair point. You could have been yeah. Yeah. T- you're talking, <laughs> handing. Yeah. No, it's okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna wait there because, and robe it. Kind of a, as he's working, like I'm paying attention to him, like I'm the robot who's gonna beep after him. So I'll just beep at you. Okay. All right. Beep, beep, so that brings beep, us beep, to uh, robots. So uh, these guys the are okay, going robots. to start moving <laughs> uh, 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 to here, coming after you, but they are slow. not as fast. Not as fast. <laughs> and can those spiders climb stairs? Uh, you don't know that yet, do you? don't yet? know that. <clears throat> this one's gonna move to here. And this one is... This was in like this, yeah. Yeah. Move to yeah. here. All right, uh, now we are up to Fahima. All right. <clears throat> well, I realize okay. that this is pretty bad, that all of my spells have fire damage <laughs> against my own self. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go through the door that she went, so I, I guess I'll pull the lever. Okay, so when you pull the lever, you hear <laughs> And the door Ooh. opens. Wow. Sounds right. like a Are you gonna run opening. up the stairs? Great, great fully work, yeah. as always. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Uh, well, you're still in the room, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, is Fahima within five feet of me? Uh, she is. I am going to resist her going up the stairs. Okay, Yep. so we need to do a contest of strength? Yep. So but you roll, roll, roll athletics, yep. and you can either roll uh, acrobatics <gasps> or athletics, whichever you prefer. <gasps> They're both bad! <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I have advantage. Wizard v. Barbarian, here we go. <laughs> place your bets, oh. place your bets. <laughs> Not great, not that great. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so you have you have advantage. Yes. Yes. Uh, this is Ugo the old has advantage. Oh, no. Ugo oh, has advantage. From, has advantage. Is this the old advantage? Because he's or still the, raging. Or a new one? Yeah. Uh, Fahimi, you have advantage from Proko. Did you use that already? The, no. This one I'm saving, right? Yeah. For yeah. now? Okay, yeah. great. She's about to I already had advantage. Oh okay. my god! Not great. <laughs> I didn't roll don't that well either, look. but. Right. <laughs> well, no one looked. <laughs> it's not great. No one look. Not great, Bob. All right. You go first. Uh, I've seen uh, worse than 15. That. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm a barbarian. Not I don't great. <laughs> okay. So as you what the that's not great. <laughs> you, you reach and you pull the lever and you start making it t- toward bolting toward the stairs. And as you pass by Ugo, he puts out a big old orc mitt and <laughs> grabs you by the the stomach and sort of lifts you off your feet. Oh. And you do one of those like cartoon like pa 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 you know the ears you know. And so he's kind of got you. What are you doing? Wait. <gasps> Are you going to end your turn next to the ball of fire now? <laughs> uh, I, s- I don't. I, you wouldn't have done I, that. I wouldn't have let her. Yeah, I would try to. Okay, right, I'd yeah, she's ba- she's that. past yeah. the ball of fire okay, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you Ugo, you're still standing next to it, but uh-huh. you haven't moved. Oh, yeah, you haven't his turn hasn't happened yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, it's only the end of the turn, right? For for flame sphere, whatever. You are yeah. considered grappled, so you, your speed is zero. What the heck? And Ugo <laughs> has the power to move you wherever he pleases. Kind of funny how both parties are, are moving people around. Okay, I'm just gonna so, back up. <laughs> so I let go of her. I was totally I'm cool not, with it. <laughs> yeah, no, you're, 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 yeah, you're, you're I'm cool. I'm fast as I moved this whole tower. Uh, I'm very so, angry. I'm like turning very hot right now. I'm very, very hot. <laughs> uh, Fahima's hair starts kind of <laughs> curling and sparking. Meep is like. <laughs> 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 beep, beep, beep. Now that the door is open, by the way, what do I see? Are they right there? Are you? You're on the bottom I'm, floor. No, oh, I'm you're at the still top up there. At the ah, stairs. Great. Let's explain it. So, uh, they are not right there. They are. They have uh, receded from the door uh, a, a bit, <laughs> but they seem to be waiting for you. Great. The strangest thing you see and hear oh. is laughter. Uh oh. Mm. And uh, as the door swings open, you peer into the room. And the moment you do so, you see the floor erupt in sparks and lightning. Whoa. Mm. The entire floor is electrified. Okay. And that doesn't seem to phase Unhima and Nugo. <laughs> they almost are bolstered by it. Yikes. Stranger still, you see, you know that what you thought was Urtenfurt just was set on fire. Oh, hell no. And when you look through the door, you could swear you see the exact same creature. Not once, <sighs> but four times. Oh, uh, no. Four Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, so they uh, are okay. standing uh, sort of almost on the compass points of this four Hurtenfords. <clears throat> top of the tower. By the way, this is open air. We, you have the, right. This door opens into the top of the tower, open to the sky. It's dusk, okay. the, the sun is setting, things are, we're in sort of twilight, stars are starting to appear in the sky, and Jim that- Jim moment is like, oh, it's actually sort of, ah! <laughs> <laughs> like, this is beautiful. No, it's really, uh, really quite nice. Uh, and that, I think, even draws into sharper contrast the fact that these giant coils of electrical energy are bursting and popping and snapping, okay? So so the floor itself almost seems electrified. Correct. <laughs> and you notice uh, three distinct nodes that are uh, seem to be collecting the energy as it rises through the tower. Okay. And one of the nodes doesn't seem to be on or working. Okay. Mm. Two remaining nodes, these two on either side here, uh, are flashing and sparking, and yet these uh, Urtenfurts uh, are tending to them, and they don't even seem to be phased by this crazy electrical energy that is coursing through them and li- you know, just lighting up the floor. Are we sure that the plural of Urtenfurt is Urtenfurts? Is we sure? Urten Fi. Should, should we revisit Urten that? Uh, <laughs> that's a terrible rabbit hole that I don't think any of us wants to go down. Okay, so Call that is what you see <laughs> at the front. You, as you stand at that, the edge of that door. You, you, I mean, you see electrical energy sort of sparking up from the ground, and 
it, you know, it, it seems to recede after a moment, but it is, it is happening in periodic bursts. James is like, um, lot going on up here. That was not your turn, right? We just had <laughs> no, Fahima's turn. No, it was not my turn. I was just standing at the door. We just had Fahima's open. turn. Mm -hmm. And we're at Uggo's turn. Mm -hmm. uh, I will drop the grapple. Okay. Uh, Uggo says, trap! And grabs the, grabs the, uh, Lever? No, lever. lever. Okay. And it pulls it the other way. Right. No. Uh, amazingly, I don't know if even anybody at home can see it. There's so much detail in here. Know, the beautiful. lever is in here. There's yeah, actually a lever. Uh, so it's awesome. really, really cool. Just so just shout out, out to that. I also put it under the dice roll. drop out of rage. You I drop, didn't attack anything, right. so I drop out of rage. His rage out of rage. Out of rage. Oh, yes, right. Okay, um, and you, I'm assuming you move out of fireball <laughs> yeah, vicinity? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Wait, but what if I yeah. give you like a little punch? <laughs> you can punch me if you'd like. Trying to get out? <laughs> Maybe I accidentally elbowed you. you wanna, yeah, you want to use I mean, your you attack of opportunity on. You can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Use your reaction. Use, one. use your reaction to give him a little smack. I don't resist. Okay. Uggo doesn't resist. What, what is it? Like a D4 for unarmed? Unarmed, yeah. It's just it's one, actually. If she's, yeah, it's one she's, plus yeah. your strength modifier. Oh, really? I think, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. yeah. One plus my strength modifier of zero? <laughs> <laughs> one? Yeah. One, yeah. one okay. hit point. Hey, good! Oh! I'm not sorry. No, I don't care. I deserve it. Sorry, not sorry. All right, so <laughs> that's your turn, Ugo? Uh, yeah, and it's, Sam, what are you doing? Do I hear that? Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's gonna be difficult. You're two levels down. Yeah, no, that's why I'm asking. Uh, I, I, I would guess that you maybe hear commotion and general noise from up there, but this is a lot of, you know, blasting you and something? popping. <laughs> <laughs> I hear so I many thought I heard things. someone say my name. <laughs> No, it must be I the wind. I don't think so. No. I'm sure Maybe. they're fine up there. <laughs> I'm sure there's nothing <laughs> happening on the top floor. We Splitting the party is always <laughs> yeah. a good idea. This was the plan all the way. <laughs> if they needed help, they would come back and get us. <laughs> all right. Surely they wouldn't foolishly go on with that. <laughs> no. no, we are, after all, the best fighters. Yeah, we have proven <laughs> in this that we're good at sticking together and being on the same page. You yes. know? Yeah. And the healer. They would never go in without no. the healer. No. Oh, okay. God. Uh, so that brings us to the top of the round. That brings us to Un Ugo and Un Fahima. As soon as that door opened, um, Fahima goes first. Oh, the first thing you hear is uh, laughter, and uh, and wait for it. All of my notes. <clears throat> One second. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. I feel like laughter is never good in a combat situation. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Uh, you, 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 you hear, now, James, you are getting the visual of this. Nobody else is. Right. But you, there, are, there are four. Sorry, quick question. Mm -hmm. When Ugo pulled the lever, does the door close? Oh, right. You pulled yeah. the lever. You did. Never mind. Never oh. mind. I saw it and, Never then mind. it, and then it shut again. You did. You saw it, it shut again. Uh, not Fahima and not, not Ugo. I saw nothing else. Did a move that you guys are unaware of. <laughs> and, oh. uh, and now we're moving on. Okay. To Siv. Uh, I'm going to take the piece of paper, <clears throat> spin around, take a couple of steps. I don't know where I am. Can I can I move this? Is that okay? You may. Be careful. It stops abruptly. Okay. Do, 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 right there at the bottom do, of the do, stairs. Do, do. Perfect. I'm only uh, letting you do this because you're a dad now. <laughs> <laughs> only dad oh wow! This. Way to discriminate against <laughs> those of us who can't be dads. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you're never touching Wait. the model. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Snap. Uh, so I'm gonna jump over here on the coils and the chains. Yep. Go back to Mr. Purple Lock and Mr. Purple Lock. Can I get Purple Lock? You may. Beautiful. Purple Lock. Uh, and can I spend the rest of my action turn, what have you, working on this? Yeah, actually, give it a shot right now. Okay. Do it. Nope. Okay, that was your turn. Dang. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hang on to that. I'm, oh, you can hang on to it. Uh, okay, so um, <laughs> now we are up to James. <clears throat> wow. What do um, Go look at it. I'm gonna. So the door is closed in front of my face. I saw all that. I turn around to Fahima and I go like. <laughs> what happened? What happened? What happened to you? Actually, was you were standing at the top of the stairs. <laughs> the door opened. You saw it. Then you saw her run. Uh, Ugo picked her up, and then the door shut. But you were sort of transfigured. You're like, um, chaos, and then the door <laughs> ran. <laughs> I turn around like white as a sheet. Like, ah, uh, okay, I shake myself out of it. 
I'm going to look around the room uh, from the top of the stairs. I don't want to, that flaming sphere is still right there. It is. Can I cast, used uh, Eldritch Sight to cast Detect Magic and look around the room uh, around? Uh, sure. Um, yeah, his Obviously room. the fire is very magical. There's that. Uh, but you don't see anything else that pops as magic in that room. Okay. Hmm. Um, I guess I'm gonna try to use my hasted action to investigate the stuff, like it, as much of the papers that aren't on fire. Okay. Uh, what can I see? Anything about the other locks? Anything about that? Uh, you you uh, are you know you, you kind of rifle through some papers on a desk. Some of them uh, singeing sparks flying everywhere. There's literally a burning yeah. ball of fire <laughs> not very far away it's from you. It's hot in here. Yeah, ten, <laughs> 10 feet away. But you're trying to you know search through these papers. You see more of what you saw on the way in. You see uh, everything stamped. You see uh, diagrams, blueprints. There seems to be uh, a very intense analysis of Pegasus wings. There seems mm. to be a, uh, a, a, well, let's do an investigation check. To yeah, see what okay. get. Yeah, mm. that makes sense. Not great, five. Uh, yeah, so you, I mean, you're able to sort of, you, you, you see diagrams, you, you see the pictures, but you can't really figure out what anything I'm sweating, means. I'm very like, oh, yeah, and you're, <laughs> yes, the fire is yeah, yeah, yeah. heating <laughs> your, I mean, not concentrating very Another well. time it would be a lovely fireside sure. reading day, but not not this not this moment. Okay. Um, then I have bonus action and probably some of my movement left. I'm going to head out to the stairway, uh, back to the third floor, <clears throat> and or back to the top floor. Um, I'm sorry, to the lower stairway. So you, as you walk toward the uh, entrance to the lower stairway, you yes. see a crumpled, burnt form that you had dragged there earlier. Yes, I'm gonna step around him, and I'm gonna go okay. near, like halfway through the stairs, I'm gonna see those two robots down there. I'm gonna do some more investigation down there next turn, so I'm gonna okay. kinda keep out of the range of those two mechanical spiders on the floor down there. So you're gonna and, stay on the stairs? Yeah, about halfway up the stairs, I'll stop there. You know what I got this time, guys? You know what I brought? Mm. A little ticky tacky oh! stuff. Oh! Someone's a Boy Scout. It's like I learned from my mistakes. <laughs> a little. Let's see if it works. It may not. Beautiful. It may not. More. It doesn't. More? Ah, ah, ah. More? Yeah. The, the more. Stairs are I don't know more. how much time I want to spend on this. Put the blue on the stairs and then stick the mini on top of it. Oh, there you go. Okay. Welcome back to adhesives and Dungeons yeah, and Dragons. Yeah, it may not be worth the time and energy to do this. Uh, we can also just say you're on the stairs. I can say I'm on the stairs. I got some gum. You can just lay me down. <laughs> no, gross. Uh, okay, so you're on the stairs. You're on the stairs. Sure. Uh, they are steep and precarious. Right. Yeah. Uh, anything else you'd like to do? No. Okay, so now we are up to uh, Lily. Okay, <clears throat> hi. Um, the rubits that are coming towards us, they haven't yes. moved anymore or have? Uh, they moved on their turn. They moved uh, around this way, coming at you. How far away are they? Quite a ways. They are quite a ways. They are, I would say, probably 40 to 50 feet away. Okay, would you say that they are humanoids? Uh, they are constructs. Like, when I looked them in the eye, they seemed like they registered emotions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not sure they would register emo. I mean, they, they would scan you for- Could they be charmed? Uh, I, you can try. Okay. You can, you can okay, try. Yeah. So I'm gonna walk ten feet towards them. Okay. So I'm kind of within a third. Really? What are you doing? I, I'm trying to protect you. Take your time, okay? I'm gonna distract these guys or you're, women you're doing or what? them. I don't know what they are. Okay. <laughs> Listen. Non-binary. Yeah. Robots. I don't know. Okay. It's fine. Anyway. You can't any, talk to robots. I'm going to try. Okay. Sip. You're already blowing my cover right now. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> you're embarrassing me in front of my friends. <laughs> Right? I know you. <laughs> just, just focus, okay? All right, I'm okay. focusing. I'm focusing. Oh. The uh, the the amulet, which is around your neck, mm -hmm. uh, flashes and says, uh, "Remember to push down twice to reset the lock." Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I didn't say that. <laughs> no. Stop uh, talking. Okay. So I turn around and I'm gonna walk. So I'm like 30 feet away from the the uh, the robots approaching. Okay. And I'm gonna attempt to charm both of them. Okay, <laughs> with charm person, they have to make a wisdom saving throw. I'm gonna try, I mean, that's what it is. Uh, if I use a second level spell slot, I can try to charm too. Let's do it. Okay. Go for it, and you have advantage uh, from Nirak Stonehammer. Great, thanks Nirak Stonehammer. <laughs> um, so I, I walk towards him and I'm like, 
beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, 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 But like crazy. So charming. Yeah, yeah, like robot charming, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, don't worry about this guy. Go like back, a dry back, sense right? of humor? Yeah. 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 Uh, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll. Oh, it's always uh, you, the saving throw. Saving throw. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You Sorry. roll. You roll. All right, the first one, uh, 15. And the yeah. second one, 12. So 12 will be charmed. Be charmed. Okay. If so, they can be charmed. I mean, yeah, gonna, if they can. You know what? She looks like a robot. Right. <laughs> it's not so much that they're charmed. It's that Could they be. feel like they're being commanded, mm-hmm. right? They feel like yeah. they're being uh, instructed. And, uh, and one of them does not register, it kind of sees a flaw in your beep pattern. The other one is, is confused. So it kind of works. Great. I mean, because one of them, I'm literally the first robot it ever saw. That's true. It came to life and saw you for the first time. So, I mean, it's like, we have a connection. Mama! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, got a whole character arc. That's a whole character arc for this robot that's going to die horribly in a few minutes. All right. <laughs> I have a whole backstory for the robot. I feel like we're, we're, we're in the middle of explosion. So it gets, we'll uh, it gets, uh, it's just charmed. By, I'm a friend. Right? Yeah, I'm a friend, oh, your friend. to right, right, right. the charmed one. It, it sees me as a friendly creature. Cool. And and then the other one, I guess, does it. <laughs> so we'll see. Right. I Excellent. Mean, I'll try and turn them again. Maybe each Lily other. is Nurton first. <laughs> <laughs> is that uh, is that complete your turn? Yeah. Okay. Now I'm just so we confused. are to uh, these robots. Yeah. This, I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> this robot. We're gonna have fun with this. This robot uh, turns 180 degrees. <laughs> and 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 sort of beeps and squawks it, 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 it itself. Beeps, and this one is gonna sort of. Walk by, and this is going to take. Uh, it's going to use its reaction to smack it. Nice. <laughs> oh, you got them fighting each other. Yeah, them a robot's going to slap. Clank. It's a little rock and sock no, and robot. It's mine. Uh, <laughs> it's going to turn into a three stooges. <laughs> yeah. I'm the best robot. Uh, unfortunately, I rolled a two. Yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, I rolled a two. So it it, 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 the, it turned at 180 degrees, and the one started like started walking by it, and it like stuck at its arm, but it, it whiffs. Miss. And uh, this oh. one is going to go uh, and get much closer to you. Okay. All right. Uh, and then these ones. I need to put yeah. these pretzels away. Mm. They yeah. are doing their sentry work somewhere. up here and uh, alerted. Uh, they see, they're scanning the uh, the stairs. They don't quite see anybody yet. I'm You're sort of halfway sta- up the stairs. Yeah, yeah. I'm on the, I'm but there's uh, you know they're sort of scanning the the floor. Yeah, um, eh, they're gonna be good. And now we're up to Fahima. Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's very awkward over here. Uh, it is. Corner. It is. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say. Why did you do that? Don't you see? There's a copy of me up there. I need to attack her. Uh, I mean, it's not my turn, so. I mean, you can talk. Okay. About uh, <laughs> because I don't know where Lily is. That's not a good enough reason. That's the best reason. <laughs> this is going great. <laughs> this is like teenage This is teamwork. All right. This, this is what happens you. when there's no Lily. <laughs> Everyone turns on each other and they start attacking We're a team. Another. We're figuring out how I'm to work together. I'm busy charming robots downstairs. <laughs> We're going to do trust falls after this. It'll be fine. <laughs> All right, Pima, are you going to do any on. other actions? Fine. And I'll... Uh, actually, I will also investigate the room. Okay. I, I, well, unless that was my action. No, that wasn't your action. Okay. That's fine. You can talk. Just yelling at I love how you're action. just like, whoa, you stuff. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I'm so pissed at you, but not as curious but also as these I am. things right here. <laughs> I mean, she's 19. That's yeah, a yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm trying not to go like full chaotic neutral and like go <laughs> up the stairs again. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna try to. Uh, <laughs> fine. So I look around. It's looking around. Are you going to roll an investigation check? Okay. May you have better luck than I. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. oh, that's better. Much better. Uh, oh, my investigation's very yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, 20. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Oh. Okay, so you uh, you are able to, I mean, there's bookshelves, there's, uh, everything's very disheveled, but you are sort of able to find some order in the chaos, and uh, it looks like there are plans for, uh, both mechanical creatures and organic creatures, and there has been uh, a lot of discussion in these in these writings, a lot of uh, 
figures and graphs and equations and you know, numbers work that looks like it's a power issue and he's trying to get more power. That's what you're able to find. Mm. He's trying to come up with some sort of breakthrough. Okay, I guess more, it's, more not it's not news. It's not news. Yeah, it's not news. Maybe okay. not. But that's okay. what you saw. All right. Uh, okay, so that uh, completes your turn, and we are oh, to. Sorry, I will move okay. as well. Um, I'll move. I'll follow James. Follow not... James to what? the bo- to the mid mid. You probably upstairs. won't be able to get as far as I am. But... Yeah, well, yeah. I'll just yeah. go where he where he. All right. Was so going. you again. <laughs> After getting find this, a very dirty look. Find this <laughs> burned, crushed, crumpled little gnome creature and you just sort of step over it so <laughs> that somebody left in the doorway. Um, He's out of harm's way. <laughs> and you're sort of uh, at the top of the <laughs> stairs there. That brings us to Ugga. Uh, I'll go very confused now. What do we do? Uh, no, okay, so I'll go... Um, is going to move out of the out of the room. Yep, yep, down the stairs. Gotcha. Um, is, can he see any of the? Mom- so as you leave the room and stairs. and get to the top of the stairs, mm-hmm. you see a Fahim ahead of you, uh-huh. James ahead of her, uh-huh. Erton. Ertin 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 squirting Ertin Ertin on the on oh. the floor. It, uh, is does a Ertenfurt <laughs> appear to be dead? He appears to be dead. Okay, cool. Aww. <laughs> uh, he's. Yeah, oh, but you stable. But we didn't oh, you stabilized him. He's, Correct. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's unconscious. Uh, he still would appear he to be dead. He appears to be oh, yeah. stable. non-threatening. Yeah. To he's you. stable yeah. at zero hit points. Looks, yeah. looks dead to Ugo. Unconscious. Cool. Yes. Uh, going down the stairs. I'm aggressive, so if there's something that I can see that is a threat, uh, I can move an additional thirty feet. You definitely see two robe bits okay. on the base of the stairs. Get him. Uh, is sixty feet going to get me to the first robot? For sure. Okay. So I'll do that, and as I walk by Fahima, I said, "Nothing personal. We need to stay together." Uh, and I'll rage. Okay. <laughs> Raging, you and you're rage. coming you down to, to rage. attack. I went, I went out, out of rage. Because you didn't yeah. attack anything. So I have to activate another. Remember, rage. I hit you though. But she hit. She hit you with the attack. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah. I if you can get hit. technically keep the rage if yep. she hits me. Yep. If you take damage or wow. do damage. Like it all worked out. Yeah. Wow. You know what? That's the real friendship it. was inside us all along. <laughs> all along, all along. She's like, I know, this is going to help me. Uh, okay, well then, I will just take a swing then, I guess. It hurts to be angry. <laughs> or it I helps. Hit and you because it I helps to be angry. You have advantage okay. from Kesmith0815. Ooh. Ooh. Kesmith0815, thank you! Oh, my Ooh. God. God. Not good. <laughs> I put those in the that dice is box. Never good. <laughs> oh wait, no, that's a seven. Yeah. Well, one is. Oh, it better, looked like yeah. a, it looked like two ones. Okay, so oh, that's wow. gonna be. Um, still good. Yeah, still good. It's gonna be a twelve. Uh, you take a huge swing with your maul, and it kind of clanks off the side of the of the robot and hits the ground. You really don't think you made much of a dent in it at all. Cool. Uh, cool. So cool. we are at the top of the round. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Siv. Come on, buddy. Oh, and then, Siv, where are you? Do I hear that? Oh. Boom. Boom! All right, so <laughs> the lock comes off, and immediately the electricity sort of stops surging through the midpoint here where C- Siv and, and take a step away from the chain so it doesn't take me with it. Yep. You take five <laughs> steps, you. five feet away five from there. Uh, and <laughs> slack comes in the, the hands. The chains start moving through. You, they start sliding around this thing, and as the warden starts moving its hands and uh, getting freedom of movement, and it, it's, it's slowly at first, but the hands start moving back and forth, able actually now to have some some give in its restraints. Uh, so still like hypnotized though up top. Not no. Yeah, it's no it's it's it, there's, okay. you don't seem to see any Great. Uh, indication of consciousness or uh, Lily. We need to go now. Uh, come on, come 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 okay. come. I'm gonna start heading up those stairs. Okay. So and I'll, uh, just in case there's stuff that I need to deal with once I get to the top of the stairs, I'll take out my bow and knock an arrow as I'm running up the stairs. Okay, so you get to the top of the stairs yeah. easily with your movement, and you see a sentry here. Okay. Um, it is kind of right at the top of the stairs there. Right. So I'll you're... probably stop like 
five, ten feet away from it if I see it. Okay, do. You I do. see it before you, I, okay. You, I mean, as you get to the top of the stairs, it's, you, you're running up to the, the stairs and it's, right. you know, here, you can see it. Okay, I'll stop at that point. Okay. Lily! Help! Uh, coming! Okay, so that takes us to James. Uh, James is gonna stay on the stairs for a moment and, um... Uh, I'm going to see Ugo struggling with the robot uh, directly below me. Yep. And toll the dead on that one. Okay. Wisdom saving throw. Gotcha. That's an eight. Yes. Has that one taken any damage? I feel like this I, one has I, not I, taken I, any. Damage. Okay. I you remember. killed one last That's week. That's right. Okay. Uh, so it's just a D8 of only one point of necrotic damage. All right. Um, with my hasted action, I'm going to do it again. So another toll the dead on that one. Can I bring a pen? Yeah. You want a pen or a pencil? Pen. Uh, one's fine, pen's fine. Yeah. Thank you. And pen. Uh, <laughs> you said, so one, and then, one, one necrotic. One necrotic, gotcha. And now, uh, but do it again, please, because hasted action. Mm -hmm. well, that's a 13. Um, it, that, that's my difficulty. Does it need to beat, beat it? Beat or beat. That's so yeah. it beats it. Ty goes uh, to the right. So I'm going to use my movement. Could I get past the one down there? Uh, it has not used its reaction. Okay, no. It so you not. would get an attack of opportunity. I would. I would take some damage. I would. I would take an attack. Um, yeah. Hmm. No, I'm gonna stay right there. Okay. Um, I guess I'm gonna try to speak again to the warden. Uh, you know, uh, using awakened mind, trying to speak to it again, trying to say. Whoa there, big boy! Hang on, we're, we're trying to help you. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Whoa there, big boy. Whoa there, big boy. <laughs> so you're, yeah, you're, you're That's attempting what I to hear speak into its mind. I'm trying to head. call it's it. It's not a two-way street, <laughs> no. so you don't hear anything in your mind. But and he's and he's not trying to say anything or anything. But yeah, uh, not that you're aware. Okay. You're, you know, you're staring at the back of its head too. Yeah. It's an amazing ponytail. <laughs> that, that much you do wow. get communicated yeah. to you. Which makes wow. sense. Yeah. He definitely can do like, you should put no. that Great. in the bun. Honestly, <laughs> it takes a full turn to recognize yeah. it. Like, yeah, everybody <laughs> just, just takes a, a round. <laughs> just look at the ponytail. Wow. Okay. Wow. And uh, his abs. <laughs> so, Lily, Lily, it's your go. Okay, um, so I'm staring at the robot that has friended me, and <laughs> the other one's coming towards me. The right. robot that friended you friended turned you around and started and, and tried to smack its friend. Okay, so it's not looking at me? It is not looking at you. Okay, so I do like a little like handout, like, sorry, friend. <laughs> and then I turn, I do an about face and I dash up the stairs. Okay. So as far you as I can get, move so out of robot. So that's 25 times two, right? So 50 Yeah, so 50 feet. feet. So as far as I can get. 15, 20, Sam, 25, I'm coming! 30. So Good, you get about more of them. halfway up here, let's say, mm -hmm. about there ish. Stick it right there. So I'm half up the stairs. Yep, so dash was your action, yep. so you're good. Uh, then we are to uh, robots. This robot is going to turn and it sees you. Yeah. And it's going to a little, um, a little uh, compartment kind of opens on the front of it and it shoots a dart at you. Ah! <laughs> awesome. Uh oh. It. Tried to do that to me earlier, but I was in darkness. You were, you were in darkness. <laughs> hey! Oh. Let's leave the I dad jokes to the, the new dart. dad. <laughs> Come on. Uh, I'm learning my dad jokes from uh, just, just, just jokes. Yeah. Yeah. Just jokes. Just so that jokes. is, oh, that's only a six. It probably misses you. Nope. Yeah, so that dart kind of goes right by your ear. Yeah. Uh, but that is what it does on its turn. This one is going to attack. Ugo was, right, was right on top of it, right? Yep. So it's going to attack you with a 17. Yep. And it is going to do. What type of damage is it? Bludgeoning. Reduced. So you get halved, right? Yep. Three points of damage. That's Great. it was six to three. And so it, you know, it, it saw you come down and it turns and it pops, uh, pops you and it has like a little um, popper. You know, popper. Like, like a popper. <laughs> like Classic. the uh, Robo Sockum. Yeah, it's got a yeah. Rock it's, it's, it's got it's Rock and sock four robots. robotic Robo legs wars. that it walks on and it's and it, it does one of these actions. <laughs> Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. It disguises <laughs> itself as a nun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Uh, and there are robots down here. Names. This one's going to continue to come. <laughs> and we are now at another turn where another one ejects from its creation box. So we got another robot here coming out. And that is robots. Uh, so now we're up to Fahima. I'm at such a loss as to what to do. I'm like, between 
You're standing on the stairs behind yeah. James. I feel like if we free the warden, he stuff will happen. He <laughs> might. He might help us with all that uh, danger up top. Well, he might. Re- oh, did, oh, I guess. Yeah, either there. either directly or by just wrecking the whole place. Yeah. Um, Killing all of us. Uh, yeah, Maybe. I. <laughs> I'm, Maybe. A, I'm personally, as a player, lost as to what to do. So I guess I'll just uh, I'll run down and um, and There's try to get eyes on my party. Yeah. Well, I mean, there is this. Yeah, there is a there. third lock hmm. that no one has seen yet. Oh. Got robots There's right robots. Uh, yeah, you want to take a shot at the lock? I'll run towards the lock. Yeah. <laughs> you got you to get by two I robots love, to do I that, love though. I puzzles. Yeah. You, yeah that's, you, you that. got you got two robots blocking you got your a ro- way. Oh, you got a robot on the bottom of the stairs and a robot here. Uh, you mean you could try to go that direction if you want to get to that node? Uh, it's farther. It's up to you, or you can the try lock to. Could be at either of yes. the nodes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, but that one's farther. How much farther? Oh, I mean, it's um, all the way around to here. Either oh, way, you're going to hit a robot. No, I'll, I'll attack the robot. You can also attack from the stairs with a, a ranged attack. Which is what I've been doing, yeah. Right, right. Well, you know what I haven't done yet? What haven't you done yet? I haven't cast Flaming Spear like Unhema. <laughs> So I'm All gonna the do cool that. kids you are doing it. You were inspired by your undead self? I was like, ah! <laughs> 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 undead? Wow. She thinks she's the only one who can do that. I was like, I don't think anybody described that as undead, but I will. <laughs> I mean, if so. Hey, it's up to interpretation at this That's point. True. That's oh, true. Oh, look, I managed to make it to stay I on. I haven't even seen it. Lily hasn't seen it. Yeah. Great, so yeah. I'll cast Flaming Spear, and uh, I'll ram it into the robot that is nearest to me. You should so that's the one that's, it's no right next to uh, Ugo, so he may be <laughs> oh, yeah, collateral damage. Oh, he went much farther past me? He I went down to attack it. Yeah. He ran down to attack it. Yeah. yeah. Real angry at stuff and There's move fast. There's a whole lot of people <laughs> down there. I don't know about Flaming Sphere, but do what how you're gonna do. The, <laughs> if, and if I run past that first robot, I will. it'll have an uh, attack of opportunity It has not used me. this reaction yet, that's correct. Okay. But, you know, you can take a chance. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. Feisty I'm gonna run past it. <laughs> All I'm right. Run past it. So you're gonna head down the stairs as soon as you I'm get here. This uh, robot senses you, and it's gonna give you a little A O O. It's a three. See, uh, this is why we take chances. Nicely done. Yeah. Nicely done. <laughs> I, I think it's because the protector, the less guardians here. are hanging out. Yeah. 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 Actually, I haven't hit them, so they're not around. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're gonna continue moving? Yeah. How far can I get? Can I get? Uh, I mean, this. We were saying this is 35 feet, so about yeah. 15 feet down, and you still have another. Uh, you can go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40 feet to get. 45 feet to get to the. So it'll take another another turn to get there, basically. To get to the lock. To the lock. Yeah, I mean, you haven't done anything. You could dash. Would you? She would run by uh, the other robot to do that. Though. You would run by the other robot. That's correct. Yeah, I'm gonna run by the other robot. Do it. Do it. Ah, see, yeah. live in danger. Let yeah. the dice roll. <laughs> do what I keep doing. Just All keep right. running. Just run it. All right. So, uh, this what's one... the name of the show? It's not Dungeon Walk. Oh. Hey-o! Hey-o! Uh, this one, not so much. 18. Ah! Okay, so we pushed our luck a little bit. 18. That hits. That hits. Uh, mm-hmm. So that does hit. Uh, this one actually has a, has a slashing damage. It's got like a almost oh. a, almost Ooh, like a yikes. crescent wrench that comes out and starts spinning. You know, you, ever see, you guys ever see Battlestar Galactic? Or, uh, of course. No, um, uh, the black the black hole. The yes. old Disney movie, the black hole. The thing that goes. No. That's what it's got. It's um, terrifying. Old references. Uh, <laughs> Love it. I'm with you. It's all right. Oops. Yeah, okay. Uh, five points of damage. Ouch. Thanks, Siv, yeah. for all that temporary hit points that are gone now. But you can keep going. You're, you're continuing this move, right? Yep. All right, you get to about here. So wait, how many temporary hit points do we have? We all we had five. five. Yeah. I just didn't write it down. We just don't even think, think Siv, you gotta think the yeah. force of good. Yeah, that force right of thank gods. I think that was branded nerd. All branded right. Nerd. Oh, branded oh, nerd. Oh, branded nerd. So that does, Fahima's going down, we're up to Uggo. Uh, Ugo says, stop running around! <laughs> uh, and Ugo's gonna try to, how far is robot number two that hit Fahima? Uh, it From is. From robot number one get that's him. in front of him. Get him! You got robot number one right yep. here. Robot number two is at the top of the stairs here. Feet? Uh, 20. Right. Cool. 5, 10, 15, uh, 20. Ugo's gonna grab, attempt to grab and throw at other robot. Love this. Wow. <laughs> 
uh, uh, Bold. And you have advantage Die from right. Jeffrey the Third. Thank oh you, Jeffrey God. the Third. Is Perhaps you, we'll Jeff? do something cool He's together. You the and second. I. He's oh, okay. that's my <laughs> ward. Uh, yeah. Roll tonight. Um. Plus I got a twelve. Ath- athletics, you said. Oh yeah, I actually you got it. But I technically already had advantage because I'm. He's raging. 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 Um, uh, that did you is. You beat a twelve. Yes, I did. Right. Fourteen. Nice. So you, you, uh, the thing that just popped you with this little yeah. poppy thing, yeah. you grab onto the poppy thing and then put your arm around the back and hoist it up over your shoulders. Yes. <laughs> and we're gonna do a another strength check to okay. see if you can hoist it that far. You throw it that throw far. It that far. Yeah, yeah, I have advantage. Like it. Well, it's, it's yeah, still take rage. your advantage from Ooh. if you didn't use it. Every you're still strength rage. check. Yeah, every strength check is a great. Ooh, Ooh, I'll uh, take that one. Twenty-one. All right, yeah. So you oh my gosh. throw this thing. <laughs> it not only uh, hits its mark; mm-hmm. it crashes through things on its way. It <laughs> smashes and bursts and open, and sparks are flying everywhere. And it lands and knocks this one. And it does. I'm gonna do uh, some. Oh, so this thing, uh, unable to uh, not be pushed off, falls. Whoa! <laughs> uh, Don't hit hits, hits this thing oh, no. and starts rolling down oh, the stairs. No. Oh. I'm right there. I'm okay. right there. So it's rolling down the stairs. Oh no! I'm, I'm mid stairs. Oh, We're gonna no. give you a dexterity saving throw on your turn. <laughs> oh no! Uh, uh, but this thing seems very badly damaged. Um, uh, and when Algo does that, he screams, "Don't hurt Algo, friends!" And Lily. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Siv, by the way, oh, just saw just saw this robot yeah. that, that <laughs> shot a dart at him. Like you're standing against this wall right here yeah, at the so top I don't of the know stairs. Where this is coming from. Yeah, you see another robot come and hit it and knock it off the stairs, and you kind of look down and you see it rolling down the stairs toward Lily at the bottom, and you're like, uh, whoops. witnessing all of this. Yeah, okay, so this. now it's your turn. Now oh, actually, this. before you go, love this. Fun things are happening. Uh, oh. We have our. Warden, who is now free to move his hand. He takes this hand, we're gonna have to remember all this, guys, so let's use our mind's eye. He sticks his right arm out and smashes this thing and swipes across the entire floor and just takes out this robot, takes out this, takes out this robot and gets to about here with his hand. So all of this is is smashed and this is kind of hanging from his wrist now. These chains are loose and slack and he just took out two of these robots, including the one you had charmed. But you know what? It's last moments were of friendship, so (laughs) (laughs) I think that's okay. It had love in its heart before it got Cold, cold metal heart. And, uh, and you hear. This might be viral uh, marketing for the new Godzilla movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, no. Anytime he puts his hands up to his face, he's, uh, <laughs> you, you hear again reverberating this, this, that sort of that same amplified sound you hear. My TikTok drones you smash apart! You've got the strength, but not the smarts. Do you think you can get to me with something that you do so easily? You all are so disappointingly dumb. There's more of me where I came from. And I'm like, yeah, 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 there's four of him up there. I forgot forgot to tell you, Uh, it's bad. Yeah. Okay, so top of the round, Siv. Okay, so I see this thing crashing down the stairs. I feel horribly guilty uh, that I asked Lily to come help me and then this robot's come <laughs> crashing down at her. So can I, as a, um, is it a free action or a bonus action to put a bow away? Do it's I, free, you can, you can, okay, you can so she the, the weapon or yeah, put it away. Put the bow away, I'm gonna run down the stairs and flip over it Whoa. and wow. then run down and grab Lily Whoa. and get her out of the way. All right, normally, I'd let you do that all because you're awesome. <laughs> We're gonna. This is a little trickier, so let's do an acrobatics check and see how it goes. You do have advantage though from Jonathan Pop. Uh, Perfect name, Jonathan Pop. He he noted that he wanted to give this to your wife, but he gave it to you. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's probably bottle feeding right now. Oh. <laughs> well, now she has advantage. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere. Somewhere. Uh, acrobatics. Yes. yes. That would be a lot. Uh, 26. <laughs> nice. All right, so you go sprinting down the stairs. You're not even hitting every stair. 
Every other stair, baby. Parkour. Yeah. Parkour, parkour. Yeah. Parkour, yeah. Parkour. And you do a, you do one of those no-handed cartwheel things uh, over yeah. over the. Uh, I think it's called an aerial. If sure. I know my gymnastics. Oh. And hello. I do. Uh, and uh, you 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 know kind of spy the 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 robot below you as you go over yeah. land. One foot on an upper stair, one foot on a lower stair. Don't even break stride, and you scoop up Lily in your arm as you do that. Uh, she's at the bottom. And I just want to. I was mid stair, so he grabbed me mid stair. Mid stair. Yeah. Impressive. Yeah. Which nice. Is really nice. impressive. And you want to do what with her? And then get down the stairs and spin out of the way, so that when the robot comes crashing down, it doesn't run right. into either of us. So you Heroic. you scoop her up in your arm. She's kind of like Truly. you know one of these. Yeah. Trust a move me. you need to remember when you're a dad, because you're going to be doing it a lot. Uh, scoops up, and then you hit the bottom of the stairs, and you pull her across your body and out of the way like that, yeah. uh, and kind of cr you know crouch down. Wow. Yeah. Uh, just as this thing passes by you and lands in a heap upside down on the bottom of the stairs. Wow. Are you all right? Wow. <clears throat> uh -huh. Okay, good. <laughs> and then I look up and see this massive hand coming <laughs> yeah, across. Yeah. Yes, oh, right. Oh, we have to go back up. Go back up. <laughs> the, yeah, the, the right hand. The right hand is in the center of the yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, is that robot? Is that robot that uh, that Ugo threw still operational up there? Uh, it looks to be on. Yeah. But it looks to be on its side. Flipped like a turtle. Yeah, and it looks to be heavily damaged. Okay. Is there anything in the? I guess not my turn. Sorry. You can ask questions. Is there, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> is there anything in like the wreckage of the robot that landed at the bottom of the stairs? Uh, on your turn, you can check. Okay. So you were right. <laughs> it's not your turn. <laughs> he gives you hope. Never do that again. I mean, that's very Civ of you. <laughs> so that was Civ. So we are up to James. James's turn. Uh, James is going to hoof it down the rest of the stairs, run up to the up, uh, barely operational robot, and uh, shocking grasp it, hopefully to death. Okay. Mm. It's, Just kick it. Just kick it's it made of metal. I'm not very strong. You don't want me to do that. I mean, you could shove it. I'll go help. No. I'm, right. I'm just shocking grasp. Okay. Um, and it's made of metal, so I get advantage. And Remember that one time you yeah. saved Siv from falling off of a flying Pegasus yeah. with your strength? Oh, I did. That was, that was great. You're right. Um, that's an what? 18 the on shocking roll. grasp. Yeah. Wow. Uh, uh, D8. Uh, four points of shocking of, of lightning damage. All right, so you pl you lay your hands damage. on this thing as as it lays there inert, and you you hear it pop. It doesn't even move or do anything. You hear it pop, and then a, like a second goes by, and then just a little bit of smoke goes. Go, go to sleep. <laughs> go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, still hasting. Yeah, I still have uh, three rounds of that left. Wow. Um, I'm wow. Op. Op. Yeah, that potion. Man, potion of haste. Who gave him that? Me. Uh, uh. Yeah. I'm gonna hoof it over to the lock. Okay. And uh, use my the rest of my action because I have a hasted action right. uh, to investigate it. Okay. I'll t I'll, I'll take. You see, I'll, I'll, I'll give Jared a brick. Yay! You see, <laughs> a brick, a break. Uh, give him a brick. Oh, is that a dad break? That. <gasps> Ooh, that did not slide. It didn't slide like I thought it was gonna. It was cool. Uh, it was like you got stuck halfway over the car and like that. Car and hang on, hang on, pass it to me, please. No. You don't need to like jiggle it a little bit. All right. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and that you see, make it difficult for it's got you five see, letters. You see a button on the front of the surface that that lock is attached to. You mean after the lock there's a button? Correct. Got it, okay. All right, is that anything else you'd like to do, sir? No. Okay. I'd like to take a shot at this, I guess, but- On your next turn you will be- On my to. next. Yep. Uh, and again, I handed it to you, yes. but it's not something that you have in your possession. It's something that is attached to this thing. Yes. So anybody that walks up to it could similarly look at it. Thank you, shot at it. But like please me? do not attempt to do anything until your turn. Can I keep looking at it? You can look at it, just okay, don't good. move it or attempt to unlock it. Uh, don't cheat. Is what yeah, don't cheat. Cool. Don't cheat. Don't cheat. Um, just looking. So that leaves us, brings us to Lily. Okay. Uh, cool. Are you still holding me? Uh... <laughs> I see the hand, I would go, up the stairs, up the wait, stairs! Wait, 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 wait! Pull me down! I put you down. Okay, and then I'm gonna go over and like dig through the little pile of robot dust. All right, why don't you do an investigation check? <laughs> what are you doing? Cannibal! Uh, okay. You have advantage don't on this ever give a from gnome John to Allison. <laughs> Allison. John. Allison, Allison, excuse me, John. John Allison. Thanks, John. Allison. Oh, I needed it, thank you so much. Okay, um, 16. 
Uh, wait, plus three. Nineteen. Okay. Look at so, that math. Did you guys all feel that? <laughs> uh, it is on its back like a turtle. Oh, okay. Uh, and the little bit that came out of it that was spinning around is still sort of spinning and whirring. It, it seems to still be on, but you're looking at the gear mechanisms and the, all the intricate detail of how it's interlocking and moving. Mm -hmm. it's, it's this clockwork tech kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, you aren't able to see any items or any words written on it or anything, but you definitely can tell it is not... Dead. Broken completely. It is heavily damaged, but it is still moving and attempting to operate. Is, is it like uh, turtled? Correct. Okay. Dave, do you think we should see if there's a like a, a a lock inside this one or? You see my eyes just getting bigger and bigger <laughs> and bigger, and what? then I point towards his massive hand as it's coming across. And I'm so little that I have to like look up. <laughs> the I'm hand like, is like oh, no. three times your size easily. Pick me back up. <laughs> okay, so that brings us to uh, the robot. Put me down. Pick me up. All right, <laughs> this robot. This robot on its back starts going <laughs> beep 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 oh, beep, no. beep 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 beep. Next to you. Uh, oh, this man. robot sees a hand coming its way, and it's gonna hide. <laughs> it's, it's, it is frightened. Just, uh, just to outrun the hand. Yeah. It's, that uh, robot's it's, so it's, confused. It's, I tried to charm it, and now there's a hand. That's it's the Indiana Jones in the you know Raiders of the, the, the Lost Ark with the ball. Before it gets smashed. Five, 10, 15, He's Indiana Jonesing it. Like yeah. you know, like the balls yeah, coming out. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Uh, yeah, and he gets here. Oh wow! Uh, He's got speed. Well, he he wasn't that far away, and he was moving on the diagonal. Um, so he's going to take a little swipe at Siv wow. on his way. He's raising. Programmed yes. for one thing. Destruction. Oh, and Two things. Uh, survival and um, it's only an 11. No. Okay. So, <laughs> it, you know, it, it's roboting away from this hand that's pursuing it and it kind of tries to give you a little swipe. No dice. This one's beeping. We have a ro... Oh, these ones have all... This one... Got they got smashed. Is smashed. And, and smoke. Yep. Dead yeah, off the table. Uh, we are good on robots. So now we are to Fahima. Hey, I'm in front of the lock. Can I try? You may. Uh, again, lock, surface, electricity, behind it, button. A uh, button? It was a button, a, a button to press, that you could press if you wanted to. Was that unlike the ones that you were yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah, there was no buttons on mine. So, okay, thing. Lock. Lock. Button. Button, button underneath it? Mm hmm Big shiny red button. He didn't see that button? He I did see it. the button. Oh, you did? I described it. I'm looking at oh, the lock. Oh, I guess I just wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be the last time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 I'll just watch it later. <laughs> watch it later. <laughs> it's so much better on YouTube. <laughs> uh, don't say that. No. It's not, it's better now. Yeah. Better live. Live, baby. Uh, shoot, that button looks like, uh, yeah, I don't want to push the button. I'm going to try the lock, but maybe you could. I'll try the lock. You can try the lock. So describe the lock. So that what you see is a lock <laughs> that is a lock with letters. Oh, a it bunch is a of it is a strange hybrid clockwork looking contraption. <laughs> uh, it is it is uh, it's five letters across. Five letters across, and some of them seem mismatched and oddly shapen. It looks uh, like a uh, the product of an addled mind. Yeah. Ooh. It's like it's like if a lock was made out of a ransom note. Mm. Yep. Cool. That's I've already cool. looked over all my notes from the uh, from the hallway downstairs and did not recognize any any words, the combinations of of letters that could make a word. That I'm not very good at that, those kind of puzzles where you have to move around the letters. What are those called? Um, An anagrams, anagrams or something. Yeah. Uh, shoot. I was going to say Sudoku, but that's... Do you remember anything others. about wardens? You're the one who knows things about wardens. Tick-tock, tick-tock. Mm, oh, so can I, I guess, do what Siv was doing and, like, spend my next turn doing... Trying to turn the You lock? get one shot. Oh, okay. And you can set it to whatever you'd like to set it and see if it unlocks. Okay. Um... Or you can push the button. <laughs> he really wants. Uh, he really, really wants, wants yeah, you really, to push really the push button. button. Don't push the button. Or maybe it means <laughs> he <laughs> thinks that's what we would come to, and it really just this. Clearly, can't drink the, the one in front of me. 
So um, many Princess Bride solid, references. Solid, solid. I love Shoot. it. I, know. I think we're averaging two Princess Bride references a show. Honestly, anyway. that sounds keep about it on pace. Not on pace. We need more. more. You know what? Evergreen. Anybody want a peanut? Fahima's still a little <laughs> riled up after that Ugo yeah. encounter. <laughs> and now yeah. James is like, I'm going to take over the lot. Yeah. What? Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. No? <laughs> I'm, I'm not a real adult yet. <laughs> okay, but. <laughs> James is like, oh, I'm <gasps> Yes! 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 No! <laughs> Sorry, I really wanted that. You one. die. Uh, no, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Dad. Okay. Uh, you hear a, a whirring sound. And then you hear. To crack the lock, enter my name. I am the seed that grows a flame. Take one letter off the end. Now I'm a fight that's just pretend. Take another, and I'm all wet. Have you figured it out yet? I can't write that fast, right, even no, no, in no. cursive. I'll say it again, Fine. and I'll give you it written if you like. Seed that I, sparks I would like a flame. That. To crack the lock, enter my name. I am the seed that grows a flame. Take one letter off the end, now I'm a fight that's just pretend. Take another, and I'm all wet. Have you figured it out yet? Uh, Huh. Way to go, Jeff. Okay. This is awesome. Um, okay. That uh, was actually more helpful than me trying the lock. It was. Well done. Huh. I mean, I didn't want to tell you to push the button, but push the button, man. Ah, dude. Always push the Okay. Button. Push the button. Okay, Always so you want to... <laughs> you want to give it a shot, or you want to wait? We can work on this, and we can keep going. Uh, I'm going to wait. Yeah, good. Sounds good. I'm going to... So now we're up to Ugo's like turn. <gasps> okay, uh, no robots? Around here? Uh, no robots no on your robots? floor. Okay. That's correct. You have successfully defeated this floor. <laughs> I'm roboted this floor? Yeah, de roboted the floor. Um, uh, <clears throat> uh, I'll go, she's ghost. Are you kidding me? I killed them all! What now? You are so. Jim, <laughs> Lily! Coming! What? Oh! No. Uh, yeah, and then a. I'll go to the top <laughs> of the Only stairs and look down. Rooms, I'm assuming I can now hear him. Yeah. If he's at the bottom of the stairs. Yeah, I'll just stay at the You're going to go to the top of the stairs. I'm sorry, yep. I was listening to them. You're yeah. going to the, go to the top of the stairs yep. and just yell down? down? Just yell down. That's, okay. That's it. All right. Yep. Uh, we are at the top of the round. Hand. Uh, smashing, continuing. He's kind of rotating in and, and angry. He's going to hit. Uh, I should rotate this and let people see what's happening. His right arm. Continuing through here, smashing all of this, smashing and kind of hitting this wall, and you feel a thunderous, uh, you know, yeah. hit against the wall, and um, some debris comes out, and he's angry. Uh, so now we have Civ. Civ. Uh, but the wall actually stops his hand. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, but the things. Beat. There's a there's a robot right in front of you. Right. Uh, I mean, it was just like a big. You just can tell how massive this guy is. Right. I, actually, when he hits it, can I tell if, does he have enough strength to actually bring this whole thing down on top of us? Would I be able to tell? I don't that? know if you'd be able to tell that. It okay. certainly felt like a massive hit. Like an earthquake? Uh, I mean, it certainly shook okay. the, the, the whole building. Okay. It's like if a, if a pickup truck hit the wall in a, in a you're standing in a building and a pickup truck hits the wall, you're, everybody's going to The whole gonna thing's going to shake. Okay. <clears throat> um, and the thing that's on the ground is beeping, right? The robot? The robot's beeping. Right. The yeah. other robot just took a swing at you and okay. missed. So I'm going to, doing this a lot, incur another attack of opportunity and um, scoop up uh, Lily and <laughs> run up the stairs. Okay. Um, and while I'm running up the stairs, I'll be talking to her. We need to. Let's just take. Sorry, just no, take a ahead. second to attack of opportunity, real quick. Of course. Parkour. Oh, it's a uh, awesome. 20. Oh yeah. no! Oh. Dang, it. Dang it! Sorry. It's all right. Uh, Six points of damage. Okay. How you doing? I'm all right. Okay. Okay. So um, you're talking. Ow! Ah, uh, um. We need to talk to it. We need to calm him down. Otherwise, he's going to kill all of us. Okay, well, he's not looking at anyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm going to carry you up here. Okay, great. I'm going to run Eye up. contact is crucial in communication, Sam, okay? <laughs> I know, you taught me that. <laughs> I'm going to run up to, uh, let's see, how much 
Uh, the 35 that? feet here, th these are the stairs. I, and my action's feet. probably um, to pick her up. Yes. So, yeah, that's more or less. When time. those two come up the stairs, I'll go just. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! You get a hug of opportunity. <laughs> a hug of. Hug of. Yeah. You knew that was coming. I did. Um, the party what a is finally reunited. reunited. And it feels Do you want me to set you down? James, you're up. Okay. I mean, it's up to you. I'll tell you on my turn. Okay. Yep. James very nervous. He's sweating, but he hears uh, the 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 clue come over the speaker. And lucky for us, late hours in the library. James has done a lot of word puzzles. <laughs> And he thinks fan. he's figured it out. Tell the folks what word you're putting uh, in. So five letters, a seed that feeds the flame, four Sorry. letters, fight, uh, pretend fight, spar? a three you're all wet, spa, spa spar, you spark. You You haven't even seen the lock. I oh, know, but I listen to the thing. Yeah, I mean, you guys are so good. I'll you go, go. Hey, hey, all right. Spark. Well well done. Spar, spa. Mm -hmm. So that's how we got it. That the James pries open the lock. This is the top lock. Yeah, on hands the neck. are like literally like. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we really need to talk to him. Uh -huh. It immediately, the chains slacken. The electricity dies from them. The the uh, warden who has been sweeping his hand across looks at you. Mm. I'm gonna, I probably still have some movement left. Yeah, so as best I can to try to get into his eye line and I'm like, put my hands up. I'm like, we're here to help. Do not destroy this building with us in it. And he senses some, you sense some recognition in his eyes and there's still electricity and it, it feels like he is dazed and out of it, but there's recognition in that. The, your captors, we want to stop him as well. <laughs> you're, you're talking at him. Yep. You're talking at him. Okay, so uh, that brings us to Lily. Okay, uh, so I see this. Put me down. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, I need more wine. Uh, I'm gonna walk, <laughs> so his head's turned, right? So yeah. I can walk into his line of sight? Uh, yes, he's looking sort of okay. this direction now. So I, I, hey, let me talk to him. <laughs> and I, I walk over and I, I make eye contact. Can, can does, does his eye, does he have eyelids? <laughs> does he have eyelids? <laughs> Looks like it does. It's a question I didn't consider. Yeah, he has okay, eyelids. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, and I see what Morgan's doing, and I so, we also, we, I also, we're all here in peace. Well, not all of us, but the, the five of us right here, and I just want you to know, uh, blink once if you understand me. Okay, guys, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> he understands us. We're gonna try and help you, all right? Um, and then I turn back to everyone. Listen, uh, what's been going on? <laughs> <laughs> You're still a robot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I should probably have explained that. <laughs> you can also drop it now. I mean, there's no, there's, there's no, no robots. robots on this. Floor. Okay, yeah. Well, Nobody's fooled. I'll shake really. off my disguise. <laughs> okay. <sighs> oh. Hi, guys. Glad you're all right. I'm okay, is everyone okay? Are we out of combat room? Yeah. Technically, no, but we can have a conversation if you guys want to have one. Okay. I mean, there's oh, no immediate uh, threat to you right now, Okay. but there's going to be a, a move of the warrior. Yeah, sure, can so just... Uggo is just gonna run up to Lily and pick her up. Okay. Give her a big hug. <laughs> ah! oh, <laughs> I picked up so much today. Where were you? Ow! Oh, no. sorry, what happened? Sorry. Uh, I'll fill you guys in with basically everything we saw in the room. And then you want to tell him about the. Uh, yeah, I, I relay everything. I relay everything that I saw. That I saw the four Fardenalds. I saw uh -huh. the the Nugo okay. and the fake Hema. Uh -huh. Fake Hema. Fake Hema is so much better. Uh, yeah. How did it take us that long to get there? I can't believe it. Okay, anyway. You just needed one warm up word game. And then <laughs> I know, now I'm clicking, baby. Um, so the and... nodes might be, might have, the electricity might be gone from the nodes up on the top, do you think? Yes, yes. There was one deactivated. Uh, that I saw up there, and now, now that the rest of the locks are gone, may maybe those other nodes are, are done as well. Well, do you want me to just climb up there? Hold on! There is I have serious trouble up there. I have something very important to say. Can we stay together? <laughs> 
And as you say that, you, you see the, the warden, who is now almost completely free, bring both hands up and bring it to his neck and twist with his neck. Again, huge, slow, powerful movements. And he's kind of bringing his arm up and, and uh, you know. Is it shaking the building? It, it's not shaking the building because he's not making contact with the building, but it looks oh, okay. like he's, he wants to attack the top as well. It certainly seems that way. Okay, I think he's telling us to go upstairs. Uh, it kind of seems like he wants to punch upstairs. Yeah, should we leave? Let him punch upstairs? Bring down, be good. I'm fine yeah. with that. That sounds yeah. like a good plan. Yeah. So there's four Urtenfurts? It may not be that simple. Yes, there are four. Well, I point to the one unconscious upstairs. In fact, we should go get him. Okay. Because he's not dead. Uh, maybe we can heal him a little bit and tie him up okay. and get some information out of him. If that's even the real Urtenfurt. You hear over the, uh, the loudspeakers, uh, Look at you, you think you're bright? Even broken clocks sometimes are right. What a, what a burn. A Thanks! <laughs> <laughs> Too many syllables in that last one. Yeah. Uh, Pretty soon he's just gonna result to like childish insults. Yes. <laughs> you, you're you dumb. <laughs> you're a stupid doo-doo head. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a good insult. <laughs> um, yeah, that's okay, so I'm going to, um, um, I'm not very strong, but uh, I can probably pick up the 30 pound Urtenfurt, right? Uh, At the I top left. of the stairs? Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna grab him and bring him down to us. You want, you want me to carry him? He's, he's probably small, but yeah, maybe we can tie him up. So you, you go up to the top of the stairs and you yes. grab this body and you bring him down to the, this level? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, if we're doing this for a while, my haste is gonna wear off. For sure. Yeah, hey, uh, it only lasts a minute, so. It's hey. probably gone. Yeah. You want to call that? So now I, I'm exhausted. You are. So you are, have a lethargy that sweeps over you. I am also. I am also. Also, rage. Is it yeah. also a round? Is it? Is just a round of Lily? Yeah, it is a round of lethargy. Can you, can you hear me, please? Yeah, on its oh, next yes, turn. On its next turn. Yeah. So okay. Um, so I would say that you weren't unable to pick him up. I'll do. Uh, okay. Lesser you know? restoration on you. <gasps> so he's Don't. he's still. Lying on <sighs> top of the right. stairs. Don't, don't, don't burn a spell on that. It only, I'm only. Oh, it, no. It, uh, oh, I'm sorry. for Siv, because oh. Siv's got. Yeah. <laughs> you need healing, yeah. right? Yeah. Please. Not really. Uh, lesser restoration, what? which is. No, sorry. Cure wounds. Yeah. Of cure, cure wounds. wounds. Yeah. Do that. Yeah, yeah. The re he doesn't need to be restored. Probably not missing a limb. <laughs> well, that's not the real Urtenfurt. Oh, right. Sorry. Maybe they're, maybe they're all real Urtenfurts. He was smart enough to. Be up there and pull the One lever D8. and talk to us. It's true. You want to roll it? You can do it. A D8 mm -hmm. plus three, right? Yeah. Plus three. You're reviving him, Burton Furt? No, no, no. She, she's Perfect. healing oh, Siv. Oh, okay. I feel so much better. Thanks for carrying me around, Siv. Thank <sighs> you for healing me. All right. You're welcome. Pleasure doing this. Siv is the closest to the stairs, oh. so I need you to roll a dexterity saving throw. <gasps> awesome. How what? I just healed you. <laughs> you have advantage from uh, John Allenson. John Allen? John Allenson. Good name. Yet. Good and bad cards yet. I know. That's true. That's All right. probably a good thing. <laughs> it's, it's, don't, don't. Yeah, don't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dex save? Yeah. yeah. Uh, 15. Okay. Uh, so you see a fireball Whoa. whiz oh, from the top no. of the stairs and land right at your feet and singe the ground. Whoa. Ooh. A fireball? A, fire, a ball of fire. Okay. So it's not the flaming spear anymore. Correct. Oh. Uh, do I see where it came from? Yeah. It came from the doorway. Can I take off my bow and... Here they come. Sure. We're, let's, we're back into our uh, our regular initiative rounds. Okay. okay. Uh, rather than rolling new ones, we're just going to keep going. Like cool. it. And, Does he take, uh, did you take damage? Sorry. I don't know. He did not. You did not take damage. Okay. <clears throat> Singe the ground. Singe the ground. Uh, you can fire into that doorway. You don't see anything in there, but you can fire into that can doorway. Can I hold my action to when I do see something in the doorway? Sure. Okay. The minute I, and if I can, if I need to take like a five foot step or something off to the side to get a better angle on it, I will. Actually, you know what? Because they fired at me, can I take cover behind this pillar thing here and uh, be aiming up at the door, waiting for someone to poke their head out? Uh, sure. Okay. All right, uh, so that brings us to James. Uh, darkness is still good, because it's 10 minutes, uh, as long as I'm concentrating on it. Um, so, what does it look like the Warden is doing? Is he is he kind of... Did you, you it's, it persists through other spells? 
Uh, as long as I don't cast any other concentration spells, yeah. Okay, so then Shocking Grasp does not. No, it's not. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so... Uh, do I, and I can't see anything at the top of the stairs? You, you would see a doorway, but you can't quite make out what's beyond it. And can we, so, and we're saying my haste is gone and my exhaustion at the end, I've probably lasted through that, okay? Yes. Okay, good. Um, man. Um, I'm going to, yikes. Uh, I'm going to move up towards Siv, mm -hmm. um, as close as I can get to him, and um, I'm gonna hold another Toll the Dead and for as soon as I see any of the bad guys uh, through that doorway. Okay. Uh, that brings us to Lily. Okay, um, so who's right next to me there? Uh, you are Akima? standing next to Ago. He just gave you a big hug. Right. Ago, I think we need to go. Okay. Right? Upstairs? Oh. Uh... Don't you guys think we need to go upstairs? The floor was electrified up there. <laughs> Something shooting at us. I'd much oh, rather fight them here than up there. But maybe the floor is not electrified anymore now that the nodes are gone. Right? <clears throat> I feel like we're not in a good position down here. Definitely not. But I don't know how much better there is. Did you befriend him? Yeah, he blinked at me. Hard to tell. Tell him. I said, I said, are you okay? And he blinked once. Okay. He, wouldn't have, he wouldn't have acknowledged that. Tell him to... To punch the door. Yes. Punch the door? Okay. Yeah. Mr. Warden. I do a little <laughs> bow. Um, excuse me, sir. Uh, if you can hear me, could you please punch the door? <laughs> okay. And uh, I do there a seems punch to be... action. <laughs> <laughs> there seems to be some awareness that he is being spoken to. Okay. He's, look, he's, he's still sort of woozy and wobbly a little bit, but he's looking and listening at to you, apparently. Please use your fists of lightning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is that your turn? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I think so. Uh, that brings us lot. to Fahima. <laughs> I'm going to, the door is shut. The door, the, the, there's no door to this door. It's, it. there's, the only door is to the uppermost floor. Ah, so it's an, it came out of an opening. Correct. Okay, well, I'm gonna finally cast a spell. I have not this entire time. <laughs> Uh, and I'll cast Flaming Spear for real this time. <laughs> and... For realsies? For realsies. Damage in there. Is the, fl is the flaming uh, uh, orb still chilling at the bottom of the stairs? It was... The fire. No, it was, it was upstairs. Fireball. It was just a... And it's done? Missed. Yep. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna move it up the stairs. Actually, I don't have to. It's 60 feet. Nice. Um, mm -hmm. Do I have to keep it within my line of sight? Uh, you have to have, uh, I think you can place it where you don't see, but you have to have a clear path to it, right? Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Because it can't go over, um, like, a, uh, uh, You a, put it up on the, put it up in the doorway. Yeah, I'm gonna just direct it, it's, I have 60 feet. Yeah. Um, direct it up into the doorway, like, right, right. inside of it. Okay. So, <laughs> poor dead body that's laying in the doorway. Oh, no, that's is right. Going to, <laughs> Dang it. It's going to uh, gonna burst in the flames. He's going to oh, kill some second He wasn't dead. He wasn't dead. He wasn't dead. Was oh, was oh, I'm ready to tell you everything. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't dead. He was stable, but now he's now probably going to be dead. So we see dead. a burst of light. You do see a burst of light. Cool, I'm like, yes! Yeah, it's illuminating. Uh, I mean, the burst of light is in the doorway. Um, so you see a, a giant ball of fire, and you see the back of the room even through the doorway. You don't see any figures. Mm. Do we uh, yell at the warden to punch the light! <laughs> I'm going to keep moving it uh, with my bonus action. Punch the fire. Um, punch the fire. Into what I imagine is the center of yeah. the room. Yeah, okay. Um, and if it does ram into anybody, then they get some damage. Right. Noted. The end. <laughs> Noted. All right, well done. Uh, and now that's a ghost turn. <laughs> they may, if you so uh, uh, I'll go and move 30 feet towards the stair. Okay. And hold his action. All right, uh, you're at the bottom of the stairs. Yep. Hold his action that uh, if anything appears, appears, charge and attack. Okay. Yep. That brings us to the top of the round save. 
And you've been readying your bow? Yeah, you haven't nothing, seen anything. nothing's come out. Okay. Uh, and you're saying to the warden, punch the it, hole. Punch the door. Does he? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, top of the round. Before that, yeah. uh, you see he's, you know, the chains are hanging off of him and he's looking at you and you see him sort of bring a big arm up and bash wow. the, the, the top of the stairs here. Whoa. So we can get a shot of it. Ooh, we got a big friend now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, uh, For the rest of the kind of turns across his Austin body. He <laughs> turns across his body with a massive <laughs> arm, and he kind of clumsy. He's he's kind of clumsy about it. You know, he comes up sure, sure. with his arm and he hits the bottom of this, rocking the whole platform that you guys are on. Wow. And everybody, take a dexterity saving throw for oh, that. Oh, uh, and he brings his arms up and smacks that hole. Oh. In the, and he does. Yikes. That's a nat one for me. Oof. Oh boy. Okay. 18 for me. 18. 14. Eight. 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 14. 14. All right. Uh, Lily and Fahima, you kind of, you, it, the whole floor sort of rolls a second, but you, you are able to steady yourselves as it does. Um, James, you are pushed Five feet, sort of hanging off the edge, Whoa. Uh, oh. off, to, you know, to uh, where the stairs the are, as okay. if you might fall down the stairs. Ouch. But you're okay. At least it's not. And uh, you, you rolled an eight. Eight. Yeah, I was hugging the. Pillow. Yeah, you kind of just get pressed up, but you, you know, grab onto the wall. You're right. all right. Um, but again, he, you saw a massive fist smash up into this doorway. Uh, the on fire, Ertenfurt body is a smear. <laughs> Sorry about that. A singed smear. <laughs> My first use of Spare the Dying didn't work so yeah. well. Nope. Yeah. Somewhere somebody is, <laughs> he's already dead. <laughs> stop uh, it, stop the, it. Uh, crumbling the stairs, uh, uh, there's bits of stone uh, that crumble down. It is a massive punch. And in fact, when the fist lands there, Electricity explodes out of it and goes all through that room uh, inside it. Whoa! With a you know a thunderous cracking sound. <laughs> so now right. we can't get up there anymore, right? Because right? the stairs. Well, I mean, his the stairs are not destroyed. Okay. They are. He just smacked them, and you know stuff's broken. It's like a there's like knuckle marks in the. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. Over the doorway. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we're Siv, Siv's okay. turn. So I'll right myself, and then, um, I mean, it seems like it seems like he's not gonna be able to actually break that uh, without hitting it several more times. So I'm going to say to Ugo, let's go! And I'll draw my rapier and bolt up the stairs. And right. with my dash, I'll probably can be able to get... Can I activate the hold action? I know it's like specific to if somebody comes up there, but if you he tells me... Uh, your, your trigger. Your trigger was to see someone. See to, to attack someone who ever who comes. And you want to do what now? He says, "Let's go," and he goes up. Can I activate the? Well, you what you were activating. Oh, you were activating a charge. Yeah, basically. You already used your movement. I feel like let's say no. Cool. You know, you were waiting to see That's somebody. Totally he, all right. Yeah. Um, so, are you going into the room? Uh, no, I'm going to run all the way up to the top of the stairs with my rapier, and then I'm because I'm saying, "Let's go, I'll go." Right. I'm gonna. Which, by the let's way, let's go, I'll go. Is a, a, my favorite -G -G chant. Let's go, let's go, uh, U -G -G go. And then what I'd like to do <laughs> is I actually like to use because I've never done this before. My cunning action, I I can hide. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. Ooh, I'd like to sneaky. hide against that wall with my rapier drawn, so that if someone decides to step out, I can sneak attack. Them. Okay, so uh, roll a, a stealth check. Okay, and you have advantage from. William Blackrose. Sweet. Willem, Bla Willem Blackrose. Blackrose. Willem Blackrose. Sounds like a pirate. Indeed. No, good old Willem uh, Blackrose. Natural 20. <gasps> nice. Oh! Look who's got, got oh! cursed eyes. Oh! Uh, so even you guys who saw him run up the stairs uh, uh, uh. aren't even sure he's still there. <laughs> what? Yeah, as if he blends right into the to the wall, he he crouches behind it and is seems to be uh, <laughs> in the shadows. Even though there's a giant ball of sunlight <laughs> right there, it's yeah, amazing. How did you somehow found a shadow? Yeah. There's a little shadow, a little sliver. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's a ball of fire that our actual Fihima put there. Right. And That's another reason for me not to run through the door. Right. Is okay. the other one gone? <laughs> the other ball of fire that was up there? 
bubble yes, fire? Yes, the, the only oh, ball yeah. of fire is the one that Fahima has placed. It's right. a, you only see, you don't see anybody else? Do I see anyone else? Uh, you do actually, not. Actually, I don't know if I would look all the way into the room anyways. You're also staring into a brilliant bright light. Yeah. But yeah, it, it, you, you don't see any. You don't see yeah. anything in there. <laughs> and I'm waving for you to come up. Yeah, you just rolled a 20 on his I said, yeah, it. It. <laughs> I said it. I said it as I was going up the stairs, and then I hit. My tail pokes out. Creepy. <laughs> 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 All right, who's up? Uh, is um, it is uh, James's turn? Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. Yes, I, I'm going to start following them uh, up the stairs. Okay. Um, I'm not going to use my action yet. Um, no, I mean, I'm not going to be able to see anything within 30 feet. I'll use my, I'll use dash and get all the way up to the top of the stairs as well. Fair enough. There's a party at the top of the stairs. I mean, uh, I mean there's if, a giant if, my, if my movement can get me any further into the room, probably not, but... There's a um, big ball of fire. There's a giant there. ball of fire right there. Yeah. Right. So I'm not, as long as I'm not within five feet of it, so yeah. I'll hang back so I'm not within, is it five or ten feet of the five. sphere? Okay, fly. Five. Uh, I'm just going to put you right there, but we know that Thank you guys you. are, all, everybody's sort of lining up on the stairs. You, uh, you, as you walk up the stairs, you feel cat fur on you, and you were like, ah, <laughs> I didn't even know you were there. <laughs> My cats have done that to me many times. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, so Lily's turn. Uh, okay, so I'm looking at the warden still. How close to me is Ago? He is not very close to you. You're all the way over here. He ran over there uh, and readied himself at the base of the stairs, and you're still standing here. Like within 50 feet of me? Oh, within 50, yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I, I'm going to yell at the warden like, we're going upstairs! <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to turn and yell at Ugo. Say, I'll go wait, and I'm just gonna dash and like jump onto his back. Amazing. <laughs> I need you to do a dexterity check. Nice. Okay. Uh, you can do acrobatics. Can I? If you have to assist her. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Oh uh, well, I. Well, you have, she has advantage already anyway. Okay. Uh, she got. Uh, Lily, you have advantage from username Eric. Username Eric. Thank you. Oh. Wow, okay, thank you so much. I got a 24. Wow. Nice. So, uh, Lily, uh, so this is cool, right? Can so I there's do a this, cartwheel also? There's this, <laughs> of course. Thank yeah. you. Uh, even, like, the first step you take was a cartwheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you start running, and uh, as you run by this pillar here, you take one foot off that, one foot off this metal thing, and then you're back, and you're like, ha! Everybody's <laughs> parkouring. Uggo's back, <laughs> and Ugo. I'm sure you just I'm, love this. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You barely feel it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All. Clearly, we have when we created go to town, the. We have to get an exotic we've, saddle. Yeah. <laughs> we have created the Ugo Lily Voltron. Yeah. When I land on his back, can I like, then go like Ugo? I'm here. <laughs> yeah. He may not have noticed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, and, oh. And I'll form the gnome. All right. So we are up to Fahima. I'll um. I'll start moving towards the stairs too. It seems like that's what everyone's doing. Okay. And look at you following the group. I know. Are you gonna I dash know. up? So basic. No, because I want to potentially use my action to control my. Actually, it's a bonus, it's a bonus. action. Yeah. So, yeah. will dash get me to the top of the stairs? 10, 15, 20, 20, 30. You have 60 for the dash. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Me, right at the right behind where Siv is. Okay. Um, can I? You, did you already look in? Check out the room. Yeah, yeah. Wait, no, or, or no, I, yeah, because the ball of fire is sort of in the way. I, I could, we couldn't really see if anything else was in the room. Is that right? Yeah, you didn't see any movement or. Uh, we don't. But think there's, there's a giant ball of fire there. that's in the doorway, which is where you literally it. like right in front of yeah. us. Oh, I, well, that's right. I did put it right inside the doorway. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna. Well, no, I put it in the center of the room. I'm I thought gonna, you put it right in the doorway. Remember, the it, it burned the, uh, the Urtenfurt right there. But then I used my bonus action to put it in the center of the room, and I was mm, like, Jeff, yeah. if, that may, if that makes any of them take damage. Oh, you're like, right. Noted. Good, good, good call. Yeah, so it is in the center. So that means uh, James could have gotten all the way in the room. You don't see anything in here other than whirling machines. Oops. Got it. And a lever. Uh, and a what? And, and a lever. lever. And, and a lever. lever. And a, a conspicuous lever. 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 Up to the top of the stairs. Cool. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move my flaming sphere to the top. All right. As a barrier. Uh, I should have remembered whether the door is open or closed. I believe it is closed right now. Yeah. Unless they've closed. opened it unless again. They opened it. But it, yeah. is, it is closed. Got it. Closed. Okay. Yeah, whoever fired that, uh, <clears throat> that fire bolt or whatever that was, pot shot. Yep. Mm. I can't move this fire through doors, can I? No. Okay. Is the door If the door is open, you can. 
Yeah. Is, is You've already used wood? your action to dash, we, so you can't pull the lever. I haven't asked him what the no, door is oh, made okay. of. I, I, I assumed assume metal. 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 Yeah. Everything else. Seems All right, to so we're up to. Yeah. I'll go. Uh, I'll go. You have an, yeah, a lily on your a, back. I got a lily on my back. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> I'll go. Kind of perks up, even though he's exhausted, uh, mm-hmm. and goes, uh, "Logo kill Nago!" and <laughs> run up the stairs. I go kill Nago. All right, we're all in the antechamber that has a. Stairway up to the heaven. <laughs> Stairway to heaven. Uh, up to the top of the tower. There's a water uh, there you no. Lever. I'll go in. Pull lever. Go in. I'm disappeared right I, now. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> okay. I'm talking to her. You pull lever. I'll go in. Mm-hmm. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, that brings mm-hmm. the top of around sieve. Mm-hmm. Well, my stealth was completely pointless. It was <laughs> But it looked great. <laughs> If I look great, I mean, no one saw it. All my very cool things nobody ever sees me do. Um, (laughs) We know uh, they're cool, though. Yeah. The the amulet sees you do it. (laughs) To be honest with you, uh, actually, I haven't been, I haven't, yeah, uh, (laughs) I haven't actually been in this room, so can I just take my turn to possibly just search the room? Sure. You can do a perception check or investigation if you prefer. Your wizard and your you warlock have done that already. Still, but I know, but you, guys, <laughs> but you guys might have missed something. Uh, yeah. Okay. 20. He's like, <laughs> if you want to still be stealth, you can move half speed and do it stealth. I mean, all your friends are standing around <laughs> in, around a giant flaming orb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bright, uh, lighting everything. <laughs> we can all see but you see this actually, guy like, you know what? <laughs> I, I take it back. I take right. it back. So can if I, I see the lever, can I tell, I'll go over to the lever. Can I tell if the lever. You know how sometimes levers just go one way or the other, yes. but sometimes levers can go further one way, like another notch, or go back mm. the opposite way. You want this door even more open? <laughs> <laughs> or, or it could well, do something, something else. else. Yeah, no, right. it, it, it's a toggle. It's just one or the oh, other. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, I it's just. It's a pretty basic then. lever. Okay, oh, the, door, the door opens. Totally basic. Yeah. It's drinking like a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and is that my whole turn? Uh, that would be your action. Okay. Uh, I mean, actually, you know what? I'll use my my bonus action to hide again. Okay. Why not? Hide. Hide What you guys see is a, you see this cat man <laughs> tiptoeing over him, move a lever, and then like hide in the corner. We all get distracted by the door opening and look back and see his gone. Yeah. Yeah. You can't see. He's like Batman. Okay. Uh, so the James, James, what would you like to do? Um, okay, so the door is open now, yes? Door's open! And Yay. the big flaming sphere that Fahima made is as is, is basically at the top of that doorway. Uh, yes. Sorry. Um, James is going to make his way into the room, kind of maybe the far corner, but I can, so I can ca- have like line of sight to the you top of the stairs. You wanna go through this, or you wanna go in this room? I'm yeah. stay in that room, stay in, in. You guys, okay. And, um, can we ha- do we have line of sight? Is the I mean, a sphere in front of it? It's supposed to be, it was like a barrier. It's like in front of the door. Ba- right? Yeah, but yeah. basically, yeah, as much as I can see the opening of the doorway the, and the sphere. You're not going to be able to see mm. into the room from where you're, from any point in this, in this right, room. Right, right, I know, but, um, okay, I, oh, I don't like that. Run through the fire. <laughs> No. How brave are you? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all, fire. if you've been okay. paying attention. Um, I'm going to make my way to the bottom of the stairs then and hold Toll the Dead again, I guess. All right. Yeah. Next is Lily. Mm-hmm. On back of uh, Ago. Ago, mm-hmm. what's our plan? <laughs> I just told her I'm going to go out there and you come with me. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna stay on the back of Uggo, but I'm gonna braid his hair. Braid his hair. Do you want to ready? Do you want to ready anything? You can maybe? ready something. <laughs> um, yeah, you notice like a couple of cuts yeah, and yeah. bruises, a little messed some, up, some mash skin. Yeah, so I like I like mm. tidy up the back of his head, which oh, is what I can see. Um, um <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. I probably should ready an actual you thing. You don't have to. I'm just suggesting it. Um, yeah, already vicious mockery. So the first like thing I. I it can go it off when you see a, yeah. a bad guy. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Uh, that brings us to, to Fahima. Anyway. <laughs> well, Fahima? I'm, yep, I'm gonna I move. I think Jeff, we should can, fill it Jeff, with can wine. we put the vase back? Yeah. I'm gonna... You don't want to fill it with wine? I mean, <laughs> I do. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, yeah. Wash it first. That's it must see, be a dad see thing. dads, yeah. Must be a dad <laughs> you guys maybe will understand something. All right, Fahima, what are you doing? Baby if steps into the room. I use my. <laughs> I, I might be a little. 
I might be a little crazy here. I like crazy. Okay. <laughs> Want to get nuts? Come on. Let's yes. get nuts. Let's get nuts. I'm Am braiding I... Uncle's hair, so. <laughs> if I dash, can I get into the roof? Yes. Into the roof? We'll run. Quite easily. I you know. Will... Okay. That's Quite what easily. the crazy bit is. Okay. Because I, I can't like move the sphere. We going? And then move it again. Yep. Dashing through my own. Dashing uh, through my sphere. Yep. So I'll you will let your. I mean, I'll try to like. If he, if he, I'll go let your <laughs> scoot okay. around it. You're resistant to it anyway. I guess. So we get to the top of the. You get to the top of the stairs, and you see a room uh, with a number of gnomish men that all look identical, but with different colored cloaks. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, get out of my way. <laughs> There are several that are working feverishly on these nodes that seem to have no electricity running through them anymore. Uh, and there's one on the far end of the room that is hunched over a table uh, with some contraptions on it. You see something that looks a lot like yourself and something that looks a lot like Uggo, but gray, sickly versions of them. Gray, sickly Uggo. Uh, and that's what you see when you get to the top. All right. I'm going to ram my flaming sphere. Well, I'm going to move out of the doorway so I don't block people, if I can, with that dash. Sure. Um, I'm going to ram my flaming sphere into into Fuggo. Fuggo? Did you say Fuggo? Wait, what did you call him? Nuggo. Oh, Nuggo. <laughs> fake he fake Hema and Nuggo. Yeah. Uh, OK, so the flaming sphere goes. <laughs> It slams into. I kind of like Fuggo. <laughs> I do like Fuggo. Right. I, I was like, I, I was like, I'm gonna have to do some real team building like, exercises uh, yeah, for this one. It's wisdom saving throw, right? Dex. Oh, what did you say? Dex. 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 Oh, Dex. Yep. Uh, same rule though. If he shares, uh, seventeen. He gets, if he shares anything that I have, um, he gets. So advantage. you oh, take half my two d six fire damage. If he can, if he, if he, if he can see it coming. Oh, you get advantage. Well, you get advantage. Oh no, but it's my roll. Um. So yeah, seventeen. 17. 17. Okay, yeah, you say it, but you take half damage. Okay. So, ooh, that was a nice roll. That was a total of nine and a half for you. Half? Four, okay. 4.5. Yep. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so your fireball goes into this creature and hits it, and it goes <laughs> uh, And that's your turn, and now we're at Ugo's turn. Uh, yeah, so Ugo's gonna run up the stairs. Okay. You probably heard yourself, huh? Uh, Move 30 feet. Lily's on your back. Yep. Yep. And if uh, you come I, to the top of yeah. the stairs and you see yourself, is there a in Fahima? Gray. Huh? Is there a Fahima is much Fahima. farther back? Yes. Fahima. Is she within 30 feet? She is. Uh, you'll you'll probably have to go by yourself to get to her. Uh, and there's also uh, a giant fireball that is right uh, just smacked into yourself. There's no way to sidestep him. You, yeah, you could you could sidestep him and still get to fake. You, you, you could give Hema? him a wide berth and, and still get to fake Hema. Uh, yeah, you got sixty feet, cool. right? Yep. 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 It's happening. Fake right. Hema's getting a uh, uh, reckless attack. And you have, and you have right. advantage. Yeah. Uh, well, that's a reckless. From Jeffrey the Third. Oh, then I won't take it reckless. Yeah, I'll just do it. thank you, Jeffrey. Yeah. 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 This is kind of perfect because I can't really damage my own self. Uh -huh. You need to, mm -hmm. and so I'll damage your self. Mess up oh. their magic user. <laughs> Oh! I rolled both Double 11s. 11. I rolled two 11s. <laughs> uh, 11. Which is going to be 16 against Fakima. Okay. Um, that hits. <laughs> that does hit. That does hit. That does hit. <laughs> Assuming. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll let you guys just play it out if you want. And <laughs> Fakima is now going to be um, some ancestral protectors are dashing right. in and out of her. So, okay. anything that. Anyone is targeted by her by any attack, including spells. I will. Uh, will get disadvantage on the attack. Okay. She takes yeah. eleven yes. damage. Eleven damage. Wow, she's very badly injured. Um, so that was with your mall and yep. your friends. Yep. So you come running out, <laughs> Lily riding you like a stallion, <laughs> and, uh, holding on the braid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and holding onto the braid that you just made even prettier. Yeah. Uh, and you take your mall and you smash down on this this thing that looks like your friend but not, and it it gets smacked and sparks fly and it gets mushed and. 
Uh, as that happens, as the, the fireball hits Uggo, and, uh, fake Uggo, and as you hit Fahima, you see all of the Urtenferts sort of turn from what they were doing and see that you have made it up here, see that you are attacking their creations, and they don't like it. And uh, there is, there is a, a chorus of <laughs> <laughs> the, the floor doesn't seem to be electrified anymore, does That's it? That's correct. Thank goodness, all right. Okay, so that was Uggo, so now we're at the top of the round. <laughs> it sounds a little bit like a penguin, it's great. <laughs> uh, so, let's do Fahima. Fake Hema. Fake excuse me. Uh, she is going to. Could I have viciously mocked her as I passed by? Yes, you actually should have, because you readied yeah. that. Yep. Let's do yes. that. Yeah, so. I love that. We come over the top, and she's like, yeah! <laughs> oh, it's even better, yeah, because she was riding your, and she's like, and you're ugly, and you're dumb, and I don't like and you. you can't ride an orc like I can. <laughs> yeah. um, wisdom savings throw. Right. <laughs> Natural one. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't save. <laughs> um, uh, one d four psychic. Uh, Two d four. What do you say? No, no, no. Yeah. How do you how do you viciously mock? Okay. Them? I need to know. <laughs> so it's two damage. Um, uh, so I'm I'm on the back of Ugo and I run by Fakima and I go. You'll never be as cool as the real Fahima. Your Aww. hair's not even on fire. Oh, only and then I Lily, do a weird hand gesture. Only Lily can do an insult and a compliment at the same time. <laughs> yeah. That was so nice. I was really prepared to be offended. Oh, we got a force of good. <gasps> yes. yes. Ooh. For Siv. Ooh. Siv. From, from uh, username Eric. Username, username Eric. Eric. I'm going to write their names on here now. Like That's so smart. Okay, uh, I think I can read this out loud. Is this supposed to add anything? Oh, nice. Uh, leech of Faith. <laughs> a magical leech lands on an enemy of your choice, sucking its life force and reducing its health by 2d6. Ooh, wow, that's a wow. wow. If you can grab the leech and squeeze it, you'll regain the same amount of hit points. Wow, wow. that's a good one. That's cool. All right. Whoa. So, leech use it on your turn. <laughs> Whoa. What a classic leech attack. Which is perfect for Sith. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we are going to. Wasn't that? Whose turn was it? It's Ooh. top of the it's it's top, top of the round. round. Yeah, who's okay? I think it's so there. I just I, I interrupted turn. it because I right. had the vicious mockery. Uh, she mockery, is so. going to. What about the warden? Uh, the warden will move. Don't worry. Okay. Oh. Warden will move. <laughs> um, he's got a lot going on. <laughs> he's, he's figuring it out. Fahima, the the fake Fahima is going to take the disengage action okay. and just get out of dodge. Cool. Ugh, she's uh, so smart. Too bad. Look at her. Sentinel. She's so smart. And then Ugh. Uggo. Was she affected? Did she feel bad? <laughs> Did she feel bad? <laughs> Did she even feel? How do we know? Did she, she melt uh, a little she more? She took psychic damage. I yeah. mean. Uh, okay, Ugo is going to run at Ugo. <laughs> and he's going to do a, a try to grapple you. Cool. Uh, so that is a, a 17. Nat 20. Oh! Whoa! Oh, All right, so he runs up to your back and tries to grab you. Careful, and, Lily. And you <laughs> go, and, and pop him off. And he, you know, even as trying to put his arms around you to, to hold you in place, he's pushed back and sort of lands on his butt prone. <laughs> um, so he's down. Wait, did, no, I get, did I get smushed? No! No, he, he rolled a 20. You're fine. Okay. He's all right. You you do feel a, quite a ride as he, yeah. as his arms go Whoa. flailing. You're but the, like boost your animal handling. The, uh, after this. You're, the contact knocks um, Nuggo prone. <laughs> the, the next thing you hear is a smashing sound. Oh. As this glass dome in the center, uh, fingers break Whoa. through it oh, wow. and start sh shattering some of the things as the warden's hand comes up and out and mm -hmm. kind of attempts to reach through this, wow. this circular orifice in the top. Probably shouldn't use that word. That's fine. Um, that's fine. <clears throat> a great opening. Sure. All right. And then you hear. Kind of dome. What? Uh, dome. He's shattering mm -hmm. the glass ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry. That's um, <laughs> not even a dad joke. <laughs> no, it's just, it's just uh, a bad joke. <laughs> Thank you. You're here. You're here. You're not really sure which, which 
Ertenfurt. Ertenfurt, this is even coming from. It's kind of strange. It reverberates strangely in the night. This is uh, dusk is setting. The stars are out up here. Uh, there's no more lightning anymore. It's it's a little darker. There is. Is your flame still up there on the thing? Oh, yeah. yeah. Still there's still a, there's a lot of light at the entrance, but this is a deep. This is a 50 foot wide surface. This the the roof of this tower, and you hear these voices that you've been hearing throughout your time in the tower mocking you, yelling at you, and you hear them again. You're not quite sure where they're coming from. And, oh, you gave me a fright, you think you're bright? Now you like my poetry, poetic words, poetic works, poetic, it's just this constant stream of consciousness from all oh, sides. Yo, tried to trick me, didn't you? An orc? You brought an orc? Oh, I thought it was from Grolago, but no, of course not. Your sequence doesn't match. Of course not. And <laughs> you can't trick me. You, that one, you're different, aren't you? I almost, you almost gave me a start. You almost gave me problems, but I'm smart. I'm smarter than you. <clears throat> it's wow. happening from all over the place. Never seen a sequence like that. Your remake is not what I intended. A little more time, I would have done it better. A little more time. <clears throat> oh my gosh. So, insane. just starting to freak me out, everybody. This cacophony, <laughs> this cacophony around you is 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 happening, and you see uh, the Urtenfurts all sort of working feverishly on machines. It doesn't matter. It was all an experiment. I got what I needed anyway. And you see, in the, the, there's a, a Ertenfurt, the farthest one away. Looks like he's, it's hard to see because the giant glass dome is between you and him. And it has been shattered now. And there's a giant warden hand coming out of it. But I'm out of breath. What did that, how did that happen? You've been monologuing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys want to play? <laughs> um, <laughs> no, 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 you go ahead. <laughs> and uh, you see him assembling something on the, the table and sort of manipulating things, and all of a sudden, giant mechanical wings <gasps> unfurl. Oh, and no. this Ertenfurt takes flight. <gasps> Whoa! and kind of hovers up and out above the it's battlefield, there. looking down, yelling at, and the, the yells come from all the different Urtenfurts on the, on the uh, top of the tower. Okay, so we are at the Ooh. top of we the round We can still see him, he's hanging around up there. He's sort of f flying back and forth up here, yeah, he's, he's, you can still see him, yes. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I wish Hamlet was here. <laughs> <laughs> Whose turn is it? I believe it's yours, Siv. Yes, Siv, oh, your okay. turn. All righty. I'm going to finally run up the stairs. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And I see Ertenfurt, Suh, yes. plural. Multiple. Where are they? Where are they? These are the Ertenfurts. One, One two, two, three. Three. This fall on CBS. One. The Ertenfurts. The Ertenfurts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I can't tell which all one's talking because they're all kind of talking. <laughs> Correct. Okay. So I will just point at the closest Ertenfurt and I'll say, uh, Ertenfurt, suck on this! And I'll throw <laughs> the leeches at him. Oh, hey. nice. Okay, 2d6. Oh. Yep. It was a force of good and a dad joke. <laughs> oh, <laughs> double whammy. So, 2d6, thank you for catching that. Uh, You're welcome, buddy. 2d6 damage to him. Is to one of the fake Ertenfurts? <laughs> to the closest of the fake Ertenfurts. Great. Right. Because I don't know which one's the know. real one. I mean, so. uh, no one called them fake. <laughs> nine, nine points of damage the from the lesser. leech. Okay. Uh, the so there is a massive magical leech that leaps out of your hand and goes fluttering across the battlefield and lands on the back of, of this Ertenfurt. <laughs> and, he, and he goes... <sighs> And you see it sort of get bigger, the leech get Ooh. bigger. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I just uh, draw my rapier as well and start moving towards that Urtenfurt? You may. Okay. That'll be my turn. Approach Do you want to get up in melee range with him? Uh, I can't attack, right? Because I used the leech. Yeah, that already. would be your attack. Okay. Then, yeah, I'll just move up to melee with him. Okay. That way, if he does something silly, I'll stick him. James. Um, okay, I need to see. Uh, James is still at the bottom of the stairs. Um... How much of my movement? You say like 15 feet to get me up the stairs? Ooh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, wow, there's a lot going on up here. Yeah. <laughs> Where's fake Hema? It's a Hema? whole world up there. Fake Hema's over here. Yeah. 
Oh wait. They came up the oh, over bit. there. Wow. Okay. All right. I'm going to get to the top of the stairs right there. Um, that's the flaming sphere. Okay. James is going to make his way into the room um, and pull out my darkness. Uh, Arcane focus and drop darkness on myself again. All right, look what we got! Hey! Darkness! Yay, beautiful. I made a darkness, everybody. It's, you made a darkness. It's not easy, but it's... It's gonna be like right around there. Yeah, it's gonna be like that. Okay. And then with my action... Hmm... 10, 30, 40... Yeah, it's just enough. Um, seeing that she's taken some damage, toll the dead on fake Hema. Okay. Fake Hema. Do it. She's a wisdom saving throw, right? Yes. Oh, that's not good. Five. Disadvantage as well from uh, Vicious Mockery. Nice. Oh, oh wait. She, uh, yeah, she has a disadvantage. I think that's, oh, okay. She great. already lost. Okay, great. Uh, so, yeah, that's a D12 of Necrotic. That's right, next attack. Get her. Oh, 12 yeah. 12 points Ooh. necrotic damage. Oh, my goodness. Dang. Okay, so you see this version of Fahima that seems melted and uh, gray and malformed continue to melt even further and squish and compress and bits are start falling off of it and it doesn't know what's happening. It's kind of piecing itself together. An eye falls out <gasps> and it just collapses on the oh, ground. Yeah, uh, James is kind of upset. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watching it happen, he's... Yeah. It yeah. Do, it's like it, it decomposed in real time. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. it is You can't is see dead. me, I'm in darkness, but James is like shook. Uh, all right, so that's Lily's turn now. Wait, am I in the darkness then? No, I, I, no one else is in the darkness. Okay, good. I, I, I specifically James. isolated myself. James is alone in the darkness. Okay. So this darkness. is fine, <laughs> he's just working away. Yeah, he's, they're I mean, they're just like working. They're, they're standing in front of this thing, yelling and screaming and gesticulating and. One got hit by Siv, the leech. Right, and this one the, right That here. one is okay. got the leech, yeah, on it. Okay, um, I am going to, I'm gonna hop down off of ub, ub, Ubbo's, <laughs> Ugo's back. back. Yeah. And kind of run around over behind this certain furt. Okay. Um, and kind of yell at him to look at me. Okay. Like, hey, buddy. Yeah. Does he look at me? <laughs> sure. <laughs> he, he, he persuasion notices <laughs> you. Okay. Um, I'm gonna cast vicious mockery on him from there. Okay. And so a wisdom savings throw. Huh. Uh, twenty-two. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, the game. Oh dang. Nah. So we're like. I don't like your outfit. <laughs> you barely even notice it turns back to work. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, we are working on. Take it, Lily. Uh, these nodes that have stopped. Got it. Uh, electri electricity coming out of them. Uh, so that brings us to Fahima. I'm gonna use the rest. Sorry, I'm just gonna use the rest of my movement to kind of move towards the, where that bench is in the middle. Okay. I probably have like 15 more feet of movement. Yeah. Toast. Yeah. You jumped on. Sweet. Yeah. Cool. Cool. I'm gonna ram my sphere into the cloak. Closest Urton for if I can. No okay. okay. That would be this one probably. Uh, Unless you want to go for this one. Do you have something marking my sphere? Is it that? That's it's that. that. Yeah. Oh, cool. Where am I? Where's the... You are right here. You can rotate if you want. Oh, because that's the door. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> You're oh. back. Um, not so stealthy. Yeah. <laughs> this is the There's an Urton Furt here. There's an Urton Furt here and one here and one flying. Up, I can move it up to 30 feet. So. Yeah. Will it hit you can get to this one, or maybe 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. You probably can't get to that one. You can get to that one, though, but Civil will take damage, too. Uh, and if I try to hit Fuggo, will it hit him, too? Uh, it might get, <laughs> may get Uggo. Can I, can I, well, I have, since I have 30 feet, I mean, if you want to put it right I, like, behind him, yeah, it won't, hit, it, won't hit, it won't hit real Uggo. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so Here that's lies a dex, Here lies that's a dex save. And you have advantage. But I don't hmm. think you need to do that because I need to save, right? Dex yeah. Save. Dex save. Oh, I have an. Oh, I have advantage from. Oh. Uh, Can I cancel mine out? La and Milo. Yeah, really. Oh, I got a natural twenty. Uh, uh, but it's still half damage, right? Yeah. Yeah, half damage fire. Even on a natural twenty, it's half. Yes. I rolled five. Oh, uh, you're nice. <laughs> um, two points. Two points of damage. Dang. Um, I want to move. 
All right, so the fireball hits Uggo, but it certainly doesn't seem to land at the impact Uggo. expected. Fuggo. Fuggo. Thank you. I want to start running towards the flying guy. He's a, a well, a, I, Yeah, I'll just mo start moving here. around yeah. towards the table. Okay. Towards the table. Okay, yeah. so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30? Yeah. Uh, well, I guess I only use my bonus action, so I can dash. Oh yeah, you only use your bonus action. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You're heading toward this other uh, Urn for is that okay? Yeah. Okay. I'll go. Uh, this is smashed? Yeah, there's fingers coming out of here. Okay. Hand um, coming up. Is it smashed enough that I could throw I'll go off of it? Fuggo? Yeah. yeah. You could you could try to throw him <laughs> through it anyway. Great. That's yeah. what I'm doing. Yep. Okay. Fuggo's getting thrown he's through prone, this. He's prone, so he's wow. at disadvantage. Yep. That's a full. <clears throat> About to Hans Gruber him oh, off I, this I, baby. I really wanted a roll box for that one, but. Yes. <laughs> mm. I could roll box it still. <laughs> no, go ahead. Okay. Because you rolled already. Uh, I mean, you might want me to roll box it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is a 18. Oh. Yeah, come on. Uh, so, you. Pick up Ugo, who is prone. You hoist him over your head, and you toss him through this glass that has already been shattered and, and broken, and he tumbles, shattering this side of the glass, past the floor that you're all standing on, bouncing <laughs> off the, the, uh, oh. the uh, warden who kind of you know, reacts to it, S electricity sparking as it goes down over yeah. and over, all the way down, as it lands <laughs> nice. on the fourth floor down with a splat. Nice. And there is green goo and ooze Aww. that trickles out from it. I don't know if you know this, but orcs can't fly <laughs> without sky thighs! <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. So, top of the round, what happens is... Uh, Fly, uh, flying Urtenfurt. Flying Furt. <laughs> says... Uh, flying Urtenfurt. It was all an experiment, and you came through fine. I am the one with the greater mind. An experiment, nothing more. I already got what I came for. You have won nothing at all. Enjoy your final fateful fall. Uh-oh. And as you hear that, <gasps> you hear explosions. Begin. No! reverberating through the entire building. <laughs> Distant at first, far, far below you. <laughs> As it's rising from the, from the bottom, you hear uh, all these explosions, and Urtenfurt, who's flying up here, where's my, where did I put him? Right here. He's flying up here, he kind of flies off, down, back down, out of, almost out of your view, just as he's about to crest out of you, your view, you, you hear, and you see a boomerang oh! Oh! Oh come yes! out of the sky. No! Yes! yes! <laughs> and it hits one of his big metal Pegasus wings. No way! Sparking it. Yes. And he goes, <laughs> and you see smoke come out of the back, and he kind of falls out of view. Sweet. <laughs> Jeremy Trader! <Yeah. laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> I think it was uh, Jerry, but it is Jerry. It's Jerry okay. Uh, and you feel a massive shake and ooh, like the sound of bent metal and then crumbling rock, and everything starts to shake and break and bend, and the ground seems to like leave your feet. It comes goes out from underneath you, <gasps> and everything kind of tilts sideways and starts to fall out of the sky. Uh. And as you leave the ground and, and start to plummet, the tower crumbling and breaking beneath Whoa. you, the warden's hand and second hand grabbing on and breaking apart sides of it, trying to hold on its hands also Go slack as it falls. Oh. And you all start to go into free fall. And that's where we'll break for our intermission. Oh. As the tower falls from underneath you. 
So, stick around. <laughs> Lord you. Araban is gonna entertain you for wow, wow, uh, wow. for a few minutes as we take a little break. Yeah. The tower is falling out of the sky. Our heroes also falling. Various Ertenferts. Ertenfert? <laughs> Various Ertenferts are also in free fall. Uh, we have uh, lots of things to deal with when we get back, so stick around! We'll be back after intermission. Oh my God. Nice. Wow. Okay, how far away from me is everyone? Um. Okay. I'm in shock. Uh, not really sure what on earth to make of our last experience there. Is anyone else absolutely stunned sitting in their chair or standing or doing whatever it is they're doing, possibly even lying down in a bed? Those of you on the East Coast or in other countries, east of us, where I am specifically, this is incredible. I am utterly amazed. Okay, let's let's gather ourselves here. Milo, please go grab me some diet sodas. Our campaign will continue after a brief intermission, so let's just together now take a moment and sort of try to understand what is going on. Are we falling out of the sky? Are we losing the warden? Is the warden a foe or friend? Talk to me, everyone. Help me understand because I am at a loss, mainly because I'm also brainless at this point. Literally, I am on the last few neurons, and I need your help. So talk to me. Ask me your questions. Let me answer your questions, if possible. Does tinfoil prevent your mind reading? No. Well, maybe now it does, because it's gotten quite weak. My psionic powers are much less capable than they were before. Brain-shaped cookies won't break my diet. Well, technically, if they're made of brains, they would, so let's not do that. Of course, we may or may not be getting a few of those in, and maybe a batch of those in a couple of months. Do I like squid, or is that like cannibalism? Mm, cannibalism, but I do like it, and we'll eat it. <laughs> We're just gonna go with the brains thing, I guess, and that's fine. Uh, when is the Ereban merch coming out? Well, if I had my druthers, I would say tonight, and I would be wearing a shirt that had me on it so that I could be showing off me and not just my face, but me. Uh, does Jeff have a regional map of the realm of Ain or Ain uh, that he'd be willing to share? Very good question, son of Joker. Or Joxer, excuse me. I think we should figure out a way to get that done. Ever had a giant's brain? Uh, if I were to say no, would that make me a lesser illithid? Because I haven't, and I've never had a chance to, to reach that high. Why do people keep walking in front of the camera? James, I was gonna ask the same thing. I asked Milo earlier to make sure nobody crossed the yellow tape. I literally have yellow tape on my left and on my right, next to all of my gold coins and plates. And no one is respecting it. Ut utterly disappointing. Really, it's you, Milo, that's giving me the problem here. All right. Please, though you, though you about there that are offering your brains as as my sustenance or as some sort of relief, I assure you, this is a self-inflicted diet. And though I'm not happy about it, and though I would love to get off it, the uh, doctor's requests have stated. It's a very important thing that I do, sticking with this diet for the next two to three months. Uh, am I picking any up any romances among the party? Well, that depends. Can I get some names? Are you going to vote for Ugo for president? Uh, I already did. I cast my ballot last month. Have you had a mushroom brain? Well, I've been eating mushrooms if you want to consider those brains, or the, if they have brains, then perhaps yes. But uh, technically, no, I, uh, mushrooms don't have brains, so it's, it's hard to say that I've eaten mushroom brains. 
If you ate Milo's brain, would you the cam eat the cam? Or would I no longer deal with the cam? I'm not sure how to answer that. Ugo plus Lily equals ugly. Matthias, you and I are now best friends. Though I love the two of them, I like that even better. Uh, Lord Araban, what are what are you lord of precisely? Well, this dungeon, Cursor Tien, of course. I think it's more like Siv and Lily. Is that true? Would you say that's the case? I would say it's more like Ugo and Siv, no? From episode one? Yes, and I'm the Lord of Secrets, of course, but I mean, that's a given since my name is Lord Araban, uh, Keeper of Secrets. <laughs> Who is the Lord of the Flies? Well, Ebran, you can have that title. I really appreciate that, John. I do like my dungeon as well. I've taken, it's taken me years to decorate it. Lord Araban, as a mind flayer that does magic, Bad? It's a great question. Tweeper? Tweeper? One, two, three. Is a mind flayer that does magic bad? Well, it depends on what you call magic, I guess. I am supreme overlord of the fox races. Fluffy Fox, enjoy that title. That must be nice. Ever heard of the flying spaghetti monster? Yes, I, actually, he's one of my very good friends. His name is Aaron. Do I have a lord family? No, I don't. I actually gave up on uh, the, the hive mind life, if you will, uh, about 20 years ago. I, I, was, I was told that I needed to leave. As a matter of fact, I was banished. I should be quite honest with you. I'm, I'm running a campaign in the Underdark. Can I use you as an NPC? Uh, Tetonk? Is that right? Tatonk, 84. Tatonka! Ah! Oh! I may or may not have one of those cho uh, those toys when I was a children. child. Yes, absolutely, you can. 100%. As a matter of fact, um, I would love to to hear more about it. How is my race born? You mean, how um, are we brought into the world? Is probably a better question. And uh, you'll have to ask your mother or father that the answer to that. I, I don't wish to share it currently. Uh, Lord Araban, have you ever considered Milo is working for another, another master? Kinsen? Would you just, would every, would you all mind waiting a moment? L Milo, can you uh, come here? Uh, I'd like to speak with you after this is over, please. Yes, just wait right, to, right here to my, to my right side. Not my left, but my right. I'd like to talk to you about something. Uh, okay. Well, no, I'm not going to eat his brain live, though. Lord knows I want to. Raise your right hand and swear you're the keeper of secrets. Well, goof, here we go. Like that. Done. Easy. <laughs> Wasn't that perfect? You saw it. Want me to do it again? Right here. Right hand. Up and... Here we go. Up. Good. See? Easy. It's so simple. Left, on the other hand, not so easy. Lots of arthritis, lack of brains, you get the idea. Oh, my goodness, can you do the robot <laughs> dance style? Well, of course I can, but not right now. Uh, I am, uh, I'm dealing with some, I don't want to say it out loud. It might be a little TMI for the entire broadcast. You can't get over the boomerang. Me too. Imagine that. Episode two, if I'm not mistaken, we get a magical item. It's flung into the air the moment it comes out. It's a boomerang. It's got a name on it. I'm not sure what it, what, what it was. I think it was something like Jerry Trainer. We are now episode five. This is what, three, four weeks later? And wham, it's back into the game and it wins the game. Lord Araban, have you ever come across a war forged? I have seven of them. There's actually two right behind me, one on my right and one on my left. See if you can pick them out. Can I throw fajita in a lake? Well, chicken or steak? Would you like a pet flying monkey? Sure, I'll take one. That sounds delicious. I mean, that sounds great. 
Does the keep seekers, secret keeper's amulet belong to you? Well, yes. Though I'm not supposed to tell anyone that. Did I say that out loud? Sometimes I can't tell if I'm using my psionic powers or if I'm actually speaking out loud, which can be a problem, especially when uh, conducting uh, intermissions online. Do I prefer Eberron, Greyhawk, or the Forgotten Realms? Hmm. E, B, G. Well, I'm going to have to get back to you on that. That is a great question and not one that I want to answer lightly. I think your designers and creators are badass. Me too. Midnight Game... Midnight Grin Ninja. You are awesome. We're both awesome, I should say. <laughs> you're... <laughs> whoever... Whoever... I think you're spelling... I think you're all getting uh, the name... Fahima wrong, if, if you're trying to say that. Because it's... Uh, there's no J... You're trying your best, I'm sure, but you're, there's no chance. Can I get a sunburn when I don't go into the sun? If I did, I'd be instantly fried. We should publish the campaign. Well, perhaps we will. Yes, Branded Nerd. Excellent, wonderful, delicious spelling. Username Eric, you are quite a bit off. There's no T. Ma, not ta. On the tubes of use? Well, we are on the tubes of use. If that's what you meant. Now, if you're saying we should publish it and then put it on the internet, that's how where you would go and to, to watch it on the, the caffeine.tv uh, channel, I believe, on the YouTubes. Oh, publishes a book. Ah, well, perhaps we'd need to talk to Jeff about that. Have I made any homebrew items? Ask Nori Komen. Yes, I have. As a matter of fact, I am enjoying a delicious one now. Well, not right now, but I was prior to coming on to the broadcast. Religion. Um, Cursor, I gave up on religion quite a while ago. Not that I don't like it. As a matter of fact, I love it. Uh, I just couldn't choose because so many different languages, so many different thoughts and processes, I wasn't able to, uh, to commit to one. I appreciate that. Bla best flavor of mind? Oh, absolutely, 100% uh, the one bar 99 human beings. No doubt about it. No question. Actually, goodness gracious, there is one conflicting situation or uh, race, and that's the elves. There's a sweetness to the elves that you can't get from human, but that does not take away from the fact that humans do, by and large, result in the, the best combination of flavors and textures. Oh, don't make me the Lord. Make the Lord laugh. It's a big grief. You don't want the Lord to laugh? What's life if it if not with laughing, yes? It is a bit of a sweet meat, yes. Identical twins' brains are twice as nice. Technically, it's just a bigger meal because it's really, they're very similar in most cases. Have I ever taken a vacation? Uh... It depends on what you mean by vacation. I would say I'm always on vacation. Technically, because I no longer have to deal with the hive mind, which was really stressful, let's be honest. Are gnomes or halflings more useful for you than for me? Mm. Didn't really have much use for either. I like them. They're friendly, both. Though I don't need friends, except for Milo. And he's not even really a friend. He's just a minion, but... You get the idea. What do I think of Jeff's brain? I think it must be absolutely, utterly glorious. And w were I not his roommate uh, 20 years hence, he likely would have lost it. As a matter of fact, he almost did lose it one evening when I was, uh, when I had uh, taken in too much Chianti, as a matter of fact, which I noticed and I read earlier what brain goes well with Chianti. That was from uh, Brands. And um, it would have been Jeff's, of course. <laughs> Uh, illithids, can they get drunk? Well, yes, uh, very easily, as a matter of fact. It doesn't take much. I am a very, very uh, a light drinker. Have I ever made a brain smoothie? If I had a blender available, I would eat them or drink them constantly, yes. It's hard to find one of those, especially down here without electricity. 
what would you choose as a pet and would you want it next to you on your throne? Oh, well. I'm going to have to think about that. Perhaps we can decide together, yes? What would be fun to have next to me on my throne? What age brains taste best? Young, but not too young. I do want a little bit of the world's... I want knowledge, because without knowledge, there's a lack of sweetness, if you will. The more age, the more sweet, but too old, and things get to become a bit... Um, the texture becomes rubbery. Not good. A baby phoenix. Like a meep, perhaps? Oh, that might be nice. A rust monster named Rusty. <laughs> well, did someone write that down? Milo, write that down. A rust monster named Rusty. A pseudo dragon, says Raik. Raiuke. I'm probably saying that wrong. That sounds delicious. I'd like, I mean, not delicious again. Probably cool, though. I'd like that. An Alep on my left. What's an Alep? Am I, do I need to break out my, my manual? I should look into that. A baby owl bar. Okay. A bear. A Charmander. Is this what? What game are we playing here? Um, teddy bear. All right. Sounds delicious. I mean, again, fun. There's a lot of good ones coming in here. A dyslexic dragon named Feige. Goof. <laughs> you win. That's what we're doing. It's going to be a dyslexic dragon. It'll make me feel a little bit more comfortable about my own shortcomings. Or Puff the Magic Dragon also sounds good. A depressed piggy. I like that all of these, um, these, these minions, or should I say, these, these um, halflings, if you will, are have uh, emotional turmoil as well as descriptions of what they are. A gorgon named Sid. Okay. Two zubats and a crowbat. Again, I'm pretty sure this is a different game. Milo's empty skull. <laughs> All right. Okay. Can I become a minion and do I have to sign up? LOL potatoes. Um, <laughs> LOL potatoes. I wonder if we could do something with potatoes instead. Let's look into it. Do I play Pokemon Go? Says uh, Cursor TN. Never heard of it. Pokemon um, how about a, a beholder? Oh, I've always wanted one of those, the one bard. Perhaps we'll go with that. Actually, let's be honest. I have nightmares about them. But if it's small enough and it promises to call me Lord Araban, then maybe we will go with that. Sky thighs. Ooh, that would be fun. Maybe we should just get a whole cut, a, 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 a whole farm of, of little ones. All right. Listen. There's some, some wonderful news. It sounds to me like everyone is getting ready to go back in and get back to the game, which to me sounds like fun, and I'm sure for you as well. So, before we do that, let me just remind you that there are three unique digital items that can influence the game. We've done this before, but I will repeat it again, just for those that didn't hear before. You can grant the gift of advantage, and that's the ability to roll two 20-sided dice at once, or perhaps you could take pity on a particular pr player of the team or as the, a whole and allow them to draw a force of good card or to add an additional challenge to the adventure, you can draw, have them draw from the force of evil deck. And remember, this is also important, you could submit your idea for a force of good or force of evil card, which we might use on the show. So head over to our wiki page, the dungeonrun.fandom.com to submit. And with that, I will put you back with our adventurers who will hopefully all land on their feet. We know that Siv will, of course, because he's a cat. Thank you all, those of you that have shared the show. And if you haven't, I ask you to please do so. And remember, I will be joining you in your social conversations around the game. And with that, please enjoy. Oh. 
And oh, back. Oh, oh, hey, oh. all right. Okay. Where'd he go? Oh. I feel like something's changed. <laughs> well, <gasps> you are falling out of the sky. Uh, you don't have a crumble trigger? You don't have a crumble trigger on that thing? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I did it. It just, we didn't catch it. It's now it's gone. Oh, oh darn. Uh, so, uh, you are falling. What would you like to do? Are we still like in combat, so to speak, uh, or is it just like? Whatever? I think we can decide what we want to do, and if we need yeah. to be initiative based, we can do that. But so do- Ugo is just screaming, "Sky thighs, sky thighs!" Yeah, all the way down. Right. Yep. Uh, do I see <laughs> the um, winged Erden for falling? No. Uh, I mean, the world is twisting, falling. You, you guys were, I don't know. 50, 70 feet away from him. I mean, there's a 50 foot uh, diameter? Diameter. Uh, of the radius? Diameter. Radius. Diameter. The whole length is the diameter. The diameter. Yeah. Yeah. 50 yeah, foot cool. diameter of the tower. You were on one side, he was on the other, he was flying. He w- started to head down behind the back of it when he got knocked out of the sky by the boomerang. Uh, so he is now out of your sight, the whole world is falling, you're falling, you're turning and twisting, it's very disorienting and chaotic, Uh, bits of things, crumbling rock, there are still sounds of explosions going off, and uh, there are mechanical things that have dislodged and are flying up at you, Um, everything is falling away. And the 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 warden warden is falling too, right? The warden is falling beneath you, indeed. All right, I'm gonna, gonna I'm, I'm gonna yell, everyone! Run to me! And my hair will start to like spark and float up and I'm gonna start casting Featherfall. Now, I should, I should tell you something. Oh, it's not gonna <laughs> work! Because you would know this. Featherfall gives you a minute of 60 feet per second. Mm-hmm. A minute is six rounds. Or excuse me, a minute is 10 rounds. 60 feet for 10 rounds is 600 feet. You are 6,000 feet oh in the sky. My God. Oh, because we're in the sky tower. Mm. Right, you are I above like, the clouds. I was thinking we we're like falling to the bottom of this ta- That's some tower. some really good D&D math, Jeff, by the way. <laughs> yeah. 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 We're done. Fall- the tower's falling. Wow. We're falling. The entire I tower is falling out of the sky. the ceiling of the tower was falling in. Everything, the yeah. whole Literally thing is the crumbling. Entire- the entire thing, you are yeah. plummeting no. toward the earth. We're doing what the first one oh. did. Exactly. Yeah. Just kidding, Featherfall will not save uh, us. Well, well, it will. you can wait. Uh, yeah, 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 oh boy. Okay, uh, for a while. Gonna wait a long time to end. pop, to until, pop that shoe. you're 600 yeah. feet off yeah, the ground. Yeah, until we're close, we can see until the ground. It's like a parachute. It's like a parachute. You don't true. pull your parachute right out of you come out of the yeah, airplane. You gotta true. point wait. break this, baby. Okay. Right, now the problem, <laughs> the problem is going to be one of several. Uh, <laughs> you have to be within 60 feet of all your teammates, which yes. you are at this moment but you are now falling. Mm-hmm. There is also going to be quite a bit of debris and rubble coming at you right. uh, as you start to fall. So th- we're going to have to deal with that. And uh, you are going to have to figure out a way to judge when you are 600 feet from the ground. <laughs> so I leave that to you. Uh, I, I, I'm open to what you guys want to do. Can we see, can problem. I see yeah. anyone? Skydiving. Yeah, <laughs> but I, uh, I'm gonna try to, to uh, grab Fahima, grab whoever's, whoever's closest. I want us to group up. To okay, so up. let's actually keep this within our initiative order. Okay. So uh, we'll say this is the top of a round. Uh, we'll go as we have Siv, James, Lily, Fahima, I'll go. So Siv, okay. uh, you are in free fall. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> what would you like to do? Uh, well, I have acrobatics. Yes. And I'm pretty skilled at acrobatics. Do I hear? You predicted that. You predicted that. <laughs> oh no! You told me I was going to do that. Because uh, yeah. you're wearing such a nice sweater, I, I was like, you yeah. said you're going to spill like it on set. yourself. It really you're okay. All right. You. I know. I rolled, uh, a, I rolled a twenty. Uh, do I hear what she says about get get to me? Uh, you I hear it. Yeah, you can hear yelling and screaming. I mean, there's a lot of uh, noise and wind rushing by your ears, but you can hear her scream. Okay. Yeah. Because basically, what's the way I want to do this is this thing happened. The ground fell. Right. And we're taking a snapshot of that moment, okay? Right. And now we're in initiative order. How do you deal with that moment? In the same way that when a fight breaks out, how do you deal with that moment? Right. How are you dealing with starting a free fall? Right. So as soon as you feel the ground fall out from under you, you yell, get to me, right. which you all sort of register. Uh, register, but now you're... Right. So then I would use, because I'm right next to the fake 
Ertenfurt, or one of the Ertenfurts, and I was going to stab him anyways. Right. So I will use my attack Whoa. to, instead of attacking him, I will kick off of him oh. towards Behemoth. Wow. Okay. So essentially using his body as... <laughs> Let's roll an acrobatics check. Okay. That's crazy. And you have advantage That's from cool Amoshan. Amoshan. <laughs> Or emotion? Oh, that's hey. cool. Emotion? Emotion. emotion. If I roll a natural 20, do I get to rip the leech off of him at the same time? Oh, Ooh. sure. Okay. <laughs> do it. Yeah. Yeah. You, should, you, should. you could probably even do that as a yeah. natural 20. Oh! 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 He called his shot. He called his shot. Babe Ruth pointing to the back of the theater. <laughs> what? Uh, you know what? I'm not going to allow it, though. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> that's, new, uh, that's new dad luck right That there, is new dad right? luck. Oh my God. <laughs> I think the I think the cursed dice uh, yeah, have been put away yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. I can't believe yeah. that just okay. happened. Wow. So you feel the ground come out from underneath you, and you immediately push off from the ground, and one furry cat paw yeah. lands on. I mean, you have boots, I guess. Right. But underneath Pretty the boots, yeah. uh, you you <laughs> land sort of in the the th- upper thigh of the urn fern, and he kind of crumples as you push off at the same time grabbing the enlarged leech that's been stuck to the back of his <laughs> neck, pulling it, squeezing it, the blood splurting out and kind of magically infusing in your own veins. Nice. You feel a surge of health go through you as you kick back and backflip heading toward where you heard Fahima yes. was. Beautiful. James. You take that amount of healing, right? What was it? Was yeah, it's nine? whatever uh, the damage points? you did was. It was two d six, right? Well, unless you want to give me temporary, temporary hit points, I'm gonna I'm gonna be at max either way. I'll just be at max. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. James is gonna um, let darkness go. Um. And let the darkness yep. go. James. Letting just the let it go, go. James. Isn't that what we're all trying to <laughs> do? Leave it in the sky. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. I mean, I think your concentration <laughs> would probably be broke anyway. Uh, but. Probably. Um, <laughs> But he makes the decision to let it yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, no, it's conscious. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I, I hear Fahima, and I'm, I'm just gonna uh, hoof it towards her, uh, <laughs> and try and try to like grab her hand. Uh, okay, so you were pretty close to her when we fell. I was not that far. Yeah. Okay, so you you are uh, as the ground starts starts falling. You let's do an acrobatics check for you. Okay. Seven. <laughs> All right, so you kind of scramble as the. The ground is falling underneath your feet, and you push slightly, but it, you don't get very far toward her, and it's kind of a clumsy move. Uh, Lily. Okay, so I had separated myself pretty far from the group. At yes, this you had point. walked yeah, uh, back was, closer I, to where the. the fly, um, I was like underneath the flying Urtenford. Right. Um, you have that, though. Yeah. I have the gods on my side. Uh, Question but, about you Is her terminal velocity slower than us because she's so little? <laughs> yeah, that's not how. I don't think that's how works. physics works. <laughs> it's a fun question, though. I know she's tiny. Uh, she's yeah, like she's, a feather. Of yeah, but a pound of feathers falls at the same speed as a pound of anything. Well, there's no, wind, there's there's terminal wind velocity. Resistance. Wind resistance. Yeah, yeah. but terminal velocity. No, everything velocity. has terminal yeah. velocity. Right. Well, we, we haven't we haven't hit terminal velocity yet, so let's. Uh, um, and it'll still okay. be fast we don't need to argue to physics quite yet. So I, the floor like comes out from underneath me. I start falling, and I'm like, okay, um, I'm gonna call Torvald. And just let him know what's going on. I got a whole music. <laughs> so I put okay. the earring in. Okay, so you 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 uh, and if I'm falling, as I you're mean, falling, you scramble and wedge the earring and in I your hate ear this and you part, scream but, and you feel yeah. the heat. At this point, it's not even yeah. the worst sensation you're it's experiencing. It's actually kind of nice because it's cold with the wind. So. <laughs> uh, and you start doing what? Screaming into uh, it? <laughs> Hello, Tarvald! Tarvald! Urgent! It's urgent! <laughs> Hello? Yes? <laughs> hey, um, sorry to bother you. We're we're, uh, we're falling through space. No plan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So no plan. Uh, that, that's that's about as much yeah, as you yeah, can yeah. get out. Yeah. Uh, and you, it, it probably sounds a little more urgent than that. Yeah. But yes, that's uh, the thing you have communicated, and you feel this the heat in your ear. You are yeah, tumbling no, and falling. Chill. Yeah. Lily <laughs> learned that communication chill. doesn't work as well if you're really tense. So you gotta right. keep it chill. Uh, next up is Fahima. If I can try to move towards the majority, then I'll do that. I don't really know where, wherever. Uh, again, you're, you can sort of leap off the ground and try to do some sort of acrobatics check. 
uh, if you want. But again, you know, imagine you're in a dunk tank at mm -hmm. the fair, and the, mm -hmm. the 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 seat goes out from under you. There's not a lot of yeah. stuff you can do. You know what I mean to 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 alter your trajectory. You can try you can try to sort of push off as as everybody else has, but it's it's gonna be tough. Dive in. Okay, well then I'll stay there, and I will just go. <gasps> I hope this isn't the end. And if it is, just fly away, save yourself. Oh. Meep is is fluttering and, and wings ex expanding and not worried about falling, but you know, <laughs> doing okay. Well, it, you know, it, that's how it got killed last time. It fell out of a, yeah. a lodestar. Yeah. Mm. Maybe it's experiencing some serious flashbacks. Yeah. PTSD. PTSD. Oh, oh right man, that's dark. Uh, I'll go. You're up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll go kind of, this is his nightmare, so yeah. panic. Screaming, no, yeah, yeah. Not much. abject terror. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are falling at quite an accelerated rate, and that's basically what we're doing right now, okay? Uh, we're gonna, I, I need each of you to roll a dexterity saving throw to see if you get hit with anything as you're falling. Do I actually grab onto her? Do I, can I get to her? Yeah, let's do, do a, just do a dexterity check to see okay. if you can grab her. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Danger sense, does that come in play here? De dexterity saving throws, if I can see it coming, I, I get an advantage. Yeah, you, yeah you're, you're spotting cool. debris coming at you, yeah. sure. It's, it's against 11. magical effects. No, nope, it's against all effects. Yep. Danger sense, yeah. Yep. Oh, well, and right oh, I'm sorry. Fema, you have advantage. James, you have advantage. Okay. Uh, Fema, you have advantage from Amoshan. Okay. James, Ooh. you have advantage from Shady hey. she Sheba. Thank you, Shady uh, And Lily, hey. you have advantage from Amoshan. Oh, Amoshan! Amoshan, spreading the love. I really yeah. needed it, the, the eleven is The 11 stands. Was I the only one who didn't get it? <laughs> no, I, did, I didn't get it either. Oh. Okay. Hey. Well, You've had plenty uh, of the non-humanoid. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> this is a monster thing. I <laughs> Yeah, it's traps, spells, anything that I can see. Dangerous. But it's not a trap or a spell. Anything that I can see. <laughs> <laughs> it's things flying at her. That's why I asked him. He's got something plump. I had a DM who did not ever let me do that. That's well, what I'm saying. That was a, <laughs> seems like a meanie. Yeah, it seems like a real know. meanie pants. I know. I was like, please. And she was like, no. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, that's a uh, dexterity saving throw. 19. Okay, so what did you get? Nine. Nine. Uh, 12. 12. 11. 11. 19. 19. Also 19. Okay. Uh, Siv, as you, oh, did you roll to grab onto her hand? That's another roll? So yes. I'm rolling one for avoiding debris and one for grabbing onto her. Correct. Got it, saving okay. throw and one. Did not know that. A saving Save. throw and a dexterity check. Uh, that, the grab onto her is a 19. Okay, so you do grab onto uh, uh, Fahima's hand. You, right. you grab onto it pretty uh, spectacularly, in fact. <laughs> uh, and she looks over and sees you just as a piece of cloud stone that has dislodged from the exploding tower underneath you yeah. hits you squarely in the side. Uh, oh. You are going to take six points of damage. And this is uh, post leech. Correct. I need you to do, roll a Constitution save, please. Okay. This is post leech, unfortunately. It's all right. Constitution saving throw. Yes. Okay. Dang it. Uh, seven. Seven. Okay. So you are barely holding on to consciousness. You're sort oh, really? of like okay. uh, you've dazed and uh, you are uh, disoriented. You're going to have okay. disadvantage on your your next turn. Next roll. Yeah, next okay. whatever thing you attempt to do next. Okay, but okay. if you tell me to do something, am I getting a disadvantage on that, or is it just on my turn? Well, we'll see. We're okay. gonna see what, but you're in a state that is, you've just been, Got it. Uh, you know, knocked, shellacked with a yeah. big I rock. Yeah, Got it. mildly concussed. Okay. Yeah, uh, so uh, you guys are, f uh, so you got a what? On 12. your saving through, 12, okay. Things are, you know, hurtling past you. You guys are falling at a quite a, a, a large rate now. The the stone's tower is bursting apart underneath you. It is still exploding as it goes down. Parts are shooting off. You see, mm. as you guys are turning and falling and flailing in the air, you see uh, the, warden. the warden itself kind of uh, electrify and shoot and grab onto things and rip parts of the, the, the tower as it's falling, still encased in it. He's breaking through and busting it and, and e exploding with electrical elemental energy Whoa. and f hurling and kind of falling toward the earth. Um, and you guys are all falling at a very, very high rate now. You're 
5,000 feet, things fall, you know, shooting by you, 4,000 feet, 3,000 feet. It's, uh, it, there's very little debris at this point. You just see a sort of a falling warden underneath you, and each of you, you know, just plummeting, twirling, disoriented, the wind rushing by your heads. In fact, I want all of you to, to uh, roll a constitution saving throw, please. Oh. So do I, do yeah. I get a disadvantage to that? No, you don't have to roll it. Oh, okay. Because you're already oh, sort of in a... Oh, okay. no. 13. Oh, I'm sorry. And Fahima, you have advantage oh, from... Oh, thank God. It's actually for oh. Meep from T-Bones 21. Uh, <laughs> Meep, Meep is going to give you the gift <laughs> of transference. I know, because I, I considered asking, like, do I have to roll for Meep? And I was like, no, don't bring it up. <laughs> don't don't yeah, Meep, bring it up. <laughs> Meep, Meep's got wings. Meep, Meep, uh, Meep's fine. Meep's got wings. It's better. Okay, yeah. so uh, what, what, what do we get? 13. 13. Eight. 13. Okay, uh, Lily, you feel the wind uh, kind of compressing your face, the, the pressure, the extreme, extremity of the uh, intensity of the moment. You are also in a sort of dazed state, barely kind of holding on to consciousness. Um, 4,000 feet, 3,000 feet, the warden is sort of uh, sparking and, sh and sputtering with electric electricity and energy and kind of falling off to the side as you guys continue plummeting this way. He's oh, bursting and pushing at all of the, the debris and bashing it, very angry and twisting and turning as you go. You are, you know, you see ground, sky, ground, sky, oh. ground, sky. You're kind of like all twisting and turning. It's some point break stuff going <laughs> on. Um, Save us, Barry. <laughs> uh, one more. Constitution saving throw around the, the horn. Yep. Oh, okay. oh, so essentially, us moving oh, closer together is futile at this point. I mean, I don't think you guys have control of it. You, I think you are all within 60 feet of each other. Yeah, okay. I, hey, I was gonna say, I mean, I'm, I, if I see Lily and, and Siv get knocked, I'm gonna try and grab whoever's closest just to kind of stay Okay, alive. do a dexterity saving throw and see uh, if you can. It was 20 for the con. Or not saving throw, dexterity check. Dirty 20 for the con. Nice. And uh, for the dex is a 16. Okay. So, uh, James, you're you know spinning and you, you whoever yeah whether it's Siv or, or Lily whichever uh, you're grasping at fluttering clothes yeah. and cloth you're you're able to grab onto something and hold on you guys are kind of forming the three of you now you're you're still holding her hand but you're barely holding onto consciousness. Do I have disadvantage on this? Uh, no. No. Okay. Then uh, twenty one. Okay, so you are able to hold on as the wind is rushing right. past you. This is con, right? This is con. Ten. Ten, it's, it's tough, but the water is building up in your eyes. You can barely keep your eyes open. <sighs> the wind is rushing past you. Your hair is fluttering. Meep has, is nowhere to be seen. You don't even know where she's gone. No. Uh, she's okay. But you are sort of grabbed on. The three of you are now yeah. in, the, in a triangle formation of just falling and flailing and flapping. <laughs> Ugo's freaking out, man. This yeah. is his nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. Literally his He's nightmare. screaming, yeah. My constitution save was 17. I can hold off the effects, but... Right. I can't I'll go, it's just like, I can barely ah! think <laughs> He's taking it, he understands what's happening. He's not, not he's not attempting to stop it, he's just leaning into the experience. <laughs> he's a bullet headed downward. Uh, yeah, what was yours? 13. 13, okay, so you were already in a very difficult state, but you kind of pulled yourself out of it a little bit. Again, uh, saliva and mucus, pasting against your face as your yes. arms kind of Super flutter hard. and flap, <laughs> you know, 1,000 feet. Can I, uh, can I like, mur in the earring, be like, falling? Yeah. <laughs> <Don't look laughs> falling, we're all falling. Yeah. 1,000 feet. Fast. You wanna, you're, you know, you're grabbed onto the, the three of you. You wanna try to cast uh, Featherfall as you get to sort of 500 feet? Yeah. Now. Cause, cause you yeah. said 600 was your math, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, 600 was my math. Yeah, yeah, so I would like to cast Featherfall now. Okay. So, tell me what Featherfall requires as a cast. Is it uh, a verbal? It's, it's, like, a it's a reaction, right? It's a reaction, yeah. And it's verbal, and, oh, you were asking for, what are you asking for? I'm gonna, it's, oh, this is not gonna be a, an easy cast, is what I'm saying. We're okay. gonna make this a very difficult, this is a tough moment for you. Um, it says one reaction when you take which you take when you or a creature within 60 feet of you falls, and right. it can cho choose up, up to, to five up people. To five. Yeah. So let's let's roll <laughs> another know. Constitution check for her. 
Yes, to see if see if you can concentrate on if this. If I'm holding her hand, guidance. All right, let's let's see if you can do that as well. Let's roll a Constitution check. Sixteen. Okay. okay. So you are managed to mutter the words guidance under your breath, and you feel a surge of ability enter into Fahima. So you get that plus no a, pressure plus a one d four. Roll in the box. Roll, Roll in, in the, the box. box. Roll, Roll in, in the box. box. I'm too nervous. Huh? He oh, okay, failed. wait, 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 wait. Uh-oh. Ammo Sean gives you advantage. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Ammo Sean. Ammo Sean for the win. <laughs> okay. Fail, you kill us, it's not my fault. <laughs> Ooh. Threat the dice, one don't more, threat the more, dice. One more, one more, one more. Probably oh. different though. Please don't kill us. <laughs> well, uh, blue Thunder, baby, it's Blue Thunder. You gotta be Blue Thunder. Yes! Plus, plus, <laughs> three, yes. plus two. 22 plus. Plus two more. For fun. 24. Okay. So. Thank you for that advantage. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Amoshan, Amoshan literally literally saved, saved the party. I literally literally saved okay. us. So, as you're twisting and turning and you have two of your compatriots grabbing onto your body, you seeing Grab me. ground, Grab sky, me. your eyes are, you know, it's barely staying open, you're falling at an incredibly rapid rate, and you manage to cast Feather Fall, and is as if someone threw up in a uh, parachute, and you immediately <laughs> stop, and you start falling much slower. <laughs> but, Algo's still going. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. really slowly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Algo's going slowly. Lily, you are kind of out of the range of this. <gasps> what? Okay. As you as you continue no. to fall, the, the rest of the party, Do I see 500 feet up, is falling very slowly, Mary Poppins style, to the ground. It's still 60 feet per second, which is Pretty fast, still but pretty yeah. Fast. yeah, still you know much slower than you were. Uh, you sixty feet per six seconds, I guess. So ten feet yeah. per second. That's right. Uh, so yeah, per round. Yeah. As you as slow. you kind of fall back, you look up and you see your friends all st- uh, rise up above you at an extremely accelerated rate, as if wind has caught them, and they and you you fall back and you mm-hmm. see them leave your field of view. And you turn and you see the ground coming closer and closer and closer and closer and closer until a portal opens up oh. right below you, and you fall through it. Uh, they're in the earring? <clears throat> I don't know. And the first thing you notice is the smell, <laughs> <clears throat> which is of pine and freshly cut grass and dirt that has been tilled and you come out at the same speed, horizontally, from a portal, across the surface <laughs> of the ground. <laughs> oh, oh wow. my god. And you're tumbling and turning and hitting and rolling oh. on the ground, <laughs> across through oh. bushes and grass and leaves, into one of the tents from Torvald's camp, <laughs> wrapping up inside, <laughs> rolling around. <laughs> I need you to roll a Dexterity saving throw, please. <laughs> Dang. Wow. It's a good thing you get turned sideways, because I yeah. was like, she's still going to hit with the same right, amount of force. force. Yeah. yeah, okay. Um, uh, 11, uh, 12. Okay. You're hitting uh, a, a tent and the pole of a, a tent and the ground and the bushes, and you're taking quite a bit of damage. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I have exhaustion from Fracco, yeah. and I just still haven't used. Oh. You take 15 points of damage. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Well, I still oh, wow. have my five temporary hit points. Oh, can thank I s- goodness. Yep, yeah. those go first. But I take, uh, okay. Additional 10. Additional Wait, 10. Exhaustion is additional. No, no exhaustion. Okay. Five from the temp, and she took 15. So, so five 15. From the temp oh, okay. The temp. So you're, you're this tiny little thing that came out of a portal like a bullet, <laughs> and you shot across the ground, and you took out a tent on your way through, and you tumble and twist on the ground, and you come rolling to a stop, unconscious. Hey. Bloodied, bruised, injured, lying in a heap mm. on the My ground. My earring's still on? As your <laughs> <laughs> earring's still on, still feeling the heat. Uh, <laughs> as your friends come slowly to the ground. Did we see her go through the portal? You did. Did you could watch it happen. happen. Yeah, you watched it happen. You are, you guys are all sort of slowly, like I said, Mary Poppins style, coming to the ground, and you see your friend Lily 
go through a portal, and then deep below you, you see it, you see a shoot out. And you also see a man with a long gray beard in white robes standing in front of the, the, the tent going like this and uh, concentrating and, uh, you know, uh, arcane energies swirling around him. What about the warden? The warden seems to have gone off another engine. You, you saw it <clears throat> uh, smash and land hundreds of yards, very, very far from where mm. you're about to land. It wasn't affected by Featherfall, since it wasn't? <laughs> no, it was far, far, far from you guys when you were I'm off. gonna, uh, seeing Ugo going through his living nightmare, I'm gonna try and like grab his hands and like, look at me, Ugo! I'll do I'm, gonna, like, I'm gonna like smack him in the face. I'll go. I'll do some nice music with press Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. I'm imagining Ugo. You know how you guys have you ever seen like a uh, a bad version of Peter Pan where they're like on the thing and the person's like, you know, they're they're like unable to, <laughs> you know, they're, they're hoisted above uh -huh. the ground but they right. have no control over what they're doing. Uh, right. So I immediately, you know, immediately vomits all over the all over the grass. <laughs> The vomit, it, oh no, we haven't landed yet, I assume. I assume we're still- Yeah, as you guys are kind of gradually- like, The vomit does not have feather fall cast on it, the vomit just drops. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go, you're okay, you're going to live. You're going to live. Lily, Lily, Lily. She went through a portal, Lily, Lily went through a portal. She went through a portal. Look at me. She's safe. Look at me. <sighs> All right, you're alive. It's good. <laughs> but what about me? And you guys come and land on the ground, gently land on your feet. Featherfall allows you to land on your feet. As you do, <clears throat> you see that you are not far from Torvald's camp. He is uh, sort of hunched over and uh, he, you know, his body heaving from exhaustion and you see uh, just a complete mess of what was once this camp. Uh, a skid mark, you know, a, uh, a trail where Lily went through the, the grass, a, completely destroyed tent that I'm is... I'm bolting. I'm yeah, running over absolutely. there as fast That's as I possibly yeah. can. And as I'm running, I'm gonna pull out my last healing potion and I'm just, I don't care if stuff flies off yep. me. I mean, I'll probably hold on to Mr. Whisper. Is Mr. Whisper still? <laughs> hey man, that's on you. Yeah, he's, he, okay. he's so, in your pocket. I just don't want him to he's bounce out as I'm. I just want Mr. Whisper has no point, idea so... what's going on all yeah. day. He's like just chilling in there. Chilling in your like... pocket, <laughs> sipping some tea, exactly. all of a sudden free falling. <laughs> exactly. At this point he's sewn into my clothing because as many times as I've been upside down. Um, but yeah, I'm just bolting as fast as I can with the healing potion towards where I saw Lily go through the tent. Okay. Yeah. As soon as Seb starts yeah, bolting. Same. So you guys I'm all not. run to her. No, I'm and, not. Oh, you're not. I'm waiting for Meep. Okay. So the three of you run and get to get to Lily, and you peel away the canvas of the the tent that she's tied all oh, up. It's not even peeled. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> ripping it out. Yeah. This tiny little gnome, this little beach gnome, blood, bruised, arm sort of. Broken and <gasps> twisted. Sorry, Katie. Sorry. Uh, and she's in very, very bad shape. Hold I'm her gonna, head. Hold her head. I'm gonna lean yeah. down and, and yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm I, gonna I, pop as up he's, I'll just probably overkill, but but spare the dying and, and sort of yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A shadowy. The, yeah, she's she's stabilized. Uh, you pour the the. Uh, this is the one Torvald gave us. Okay. A long time ago. I don't know how strong it is. Uh, it's one d four plus two. Okay. Uh, and. You, I'll go maybe massage her throat. You get her to, to, yeah. to swallow it. She is unconscious, but you see the, the effects of the healing potion start to, to take effect. You see her arm straighten slightly, and you know she's still not great, but cuts heal miraculously from the, the effects. She's still out of it, unconscious, limp, uh, laying on the ground. As you are standing in the field, looking at, searching the skies, you see uh, a speck of red light, like fire, cross the, the cloud line and circle down and come and land on your arm. <gasps> Beep. <clears throat> and you hear. Beep. Ah, I'm so glad you have wings. Okay, let's go. And I'll run and join. Okay. I'm gonna scoop Lily up, and I'm just gonna start running towards Torvald, because I'm okay. assuming he's the only one yeah. out of all of us, since she's our healer, right. uh, that's gonna be able to do anything. Right. 
So as you approach Torvald, he is clearly exhausted, like that took something out of him to, to do that. And he, he stands up and he goes, are you all right? Do oh, something! Quickly. Anything! To my tent, to my tent. And uh, you bring her in, Diphtha is still there. Right? She's laying on the cot in the tent. Uh, and so uh, Diphtha sees Lily come in, she's clearly improved since the last mm. time you saw her. And she sits up and kind of get, makes room. He goes, oh child, what has happened? And you mm. lay Lily down on the cot and Torvald says, <laughs> My stomach's really upset, this sorry. so loud. <laughs> <laughs> it's stressful. <laughs> Torvald says, I need materials to my garden. Do you know where my garden? Where, where, do you know where my garden? Yes, yes, yes. I, 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 what, what, what do you need? What do you need? I need a very specific herb, uh, a poppy. I need yellow with black spots, not yellow with brown spots, not black with yellow spots. Yellow, yellow with black spots. Poppy, yellow with black spots. Please, I got it. I'll hurry, get it. And quickly, yeah. quickly now. Yeah, I'll bolt. Yeah, well. I'll help you too. I'm staying. Okay. By her. I'll go. You kneel down and you yeah. hold Lily's hand. <sighs> As a sort of trembling, and she's completely unconscious. Uh, Diphtha, really? Diphtha stands next to you, and it puts her hand. Diphtha puts her hand on your big orkin shoulder. You better save her, or I am going to break you. Uh, the uh, the amulet answers. It flashes and blinks twice, and out of it pops. Another healing potion. <gasps> yeah, I immediately pop it off. Okay. Down her. Uh, <clears throat> Thank you! Three Thank of you, you run up up the, the grade that you remember having walked down originally when you first got to Torvalt's right. camp, running up the, the grade, and you ar arrive at that landing where the original portal had opened from the tavern when you got, first okay. got there. And there is, dead as body. you remember it, hmm? Dead body. <laughs> the dead body. Indeed. There Too is a, a, a cultivated <laughs> garden with a, a little stone brim and the half body of Dufo Hymns with a tiny poppy in his ear that Siv had put there. <gasps> That's nice. Uh, this time though, you see him and it's clear that something has been eating him. Oh mm. no. Uh, his mm. face is missing flesh. Oh. His, uh, his innards, he was, he was half, if we remember, he had right. been bisected yeah. by the yep. portal, the closing portal. His innards and uh, viscera are missing. They have been eaten, there's big chunks taken off of his upper half, uh, an eye is gone, uh, you see lots of bone peeking through where you shouldn't be able to see it, but that still, that poppy that you put in his ear remains, uh, and he's there in the middle of this field of flowers. Hashtag save Dufo. Um, yeah, that's the, looking yeah. for the poppies. I mean, yeah. that, very that, do for I mean, that's <laughs> very. That's a bummer. <laughs> but we've got some. Do an investigation do. check, please. Uh, investigation, all you said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of us. Um, or can I help? Maybe. Yeah, you can say. whatever you want to do. If you I mean, want to do it individually, or you want to insist him and give him an advantage. I'll assist you. Okay, cool. Maybe give yourself Lily. guidance. Oh Lily. yes. Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, I think it's gonna be fine. Um, that's a dirty twenty. <laughs> all right. So you're, you you have to move the body, the, the remains of Dufo, you have to sort of roll him. And underneath, crumpled and smushed under where you had deposited that thing, that body, that piece of body, half of body, is some smushed poppy flowers with leaves that distinctly have yellow with black spots. Not black with yellow, not yellow with brown. Yellow with she black spots. She looks that way to you. Okay. Lily. I, I grab a handful. Give them to me, I'm faster than you. Go. <laughs> Lily, if you come back to Ugo, Ugo promise to protect you for the rest of your life. Ugo will serve you until you, Ugo die or you die. Aww. Please do not leave Ugo alone. You have taught Ugo what friendship is. Please. And Lily, Lily with that second uh, healing potion that came out of the amulet, you do have just a bit of consciousness. And those words, while you didn't catch all of them, you, you do sort of hear, it's hard for you to speak, it's hard for you to make words, but maybe a squeeze of your hand. Uh, yeah, I'll go looks at 
whoever's in the tent. I, I think she's alive. It's, it's very brave of you. I know Torvald will do all he can. He's helped me immensely. I feel much better. I promise we'll, we'll do everything we can. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and, and Siv, you're the first one to get back to the tent. For sure. And you, <clears throat> and you uh, peel back the, the burlap canvas, and you and Torvald both enter, and Torvald uh, looks at the, the crushed flowers, and he grabs a mortar and pestle and throws it in and starts working on it. He did good. Thank you. This is right. This is right. And <laughs> James will literally give Torvald guidance. Amazing, yeah. <laughs> so he, f he feels that surge, and he says, a bottle. I need a... I'm, I'm, I'm. And so you hand him the... I don't take glass bottle. Yeah. So he's I got the, the mortal and, and, oh, and right. mortar and pestle uh, from the shelf. There, that, uh, and, and two of those. Please, quickly. And you guys hand him yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, things, yeah. and he's, he's working feverishly in the, in the back. Uh, it takes him a moment, but you guys are all huddled around. Lily. Lily, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't catch you. James is just sort of nervously biting his lip and yeah. watching. It's a long moment. Yeah. It's a long moment as Torvald works and Difta stands and sort of pl places her hands on you. There's a calming effect from her uh, that you don't really acknowledge, but all of you feel. There's something mystical about Difta. There's something <clears throat> very um, ethereal. And you can tell that she has actually improved quite a bit since you last saw her. Her skin is bluer and darker than it was, it was less gray. And <clears throat> as you stand there in silence, huddled around Lily, uh, and with Diffa sort of being this calming presence, you f feel Torvald come back and kind of push his way through your half circle, huddled around her, and he's got a, a, a mixture that doesn't look like a, the healing potion you've ever seen before. It's, uh, it's something more, something different. And he leans over her and he pours it in Lily's mouth. And at the moment it touches your lips, a vitality comes back and you open your eyes. It's almost like you got a sh shot of caffeine. Uh, you got a, a jolt of, you know, espresso or something. Uh, and you're, you're, your body hurts, every part of you hurts. <gasps> but you are aware and awake and you see your four companions all staring over you and this strange bald blue woman behind them with her hands on their shoulders. Are we still falling? No, no. Don't move. Oh, your, your arm is broken. Oh! It's not supposed to bend like that. No, it is not. Does it hurt? Uh-huh. Ow. You took a really long fall. I don't remember anything. It just... That's uh, probably for the best. The thing's falling past me. Are you all all right? We're all right, you're yes. all right. Does anyone we'll need to be healed? <laughs> yes, you. Oh, I can't. How? We're okay. And then Lily remembers. <sighs> she doesn't have her flute. Oh. I've made a big mistake. It's Why? Okay. My flute. I used it to stop the... The we, machine. We can get you another flute. Uh, at it's this not point, the I'll same. go just kind of uh, uh, lightly. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> Lily! It's still very small. Lily. Yes. I'll go. Belong to Lily. It's very nice, I'll go. But that flute was given to me by my grandma, and she's going to be very disappointed. Lily, your flute saved the life of a warden. That means more than anything. Wardens are our protectors and you protected. Is he okay? I don't know yet. So you don't know that? <sighs> Maybe we can find it. I mean, it, it, the, the lodestar broke up into a hundred pieces. Maybe <sighs> that piece is still out there. How on earth are we ever gonna find that? Stranger things have happened. I don't mean to be negative, you guys. I'm sorry. Ouch. Perhaps we should all rest. Rest. You have <sighs> done a great service. You have all exceeded every expectation I could have possibly put upon you. Let's maybe.
maybe we should spend the night and heal as best we can. The salve that I gave you, I think, will be much more effective over time. Overnight, I suspect we'll have great gains in your vitality. And all of you, I am so grateful. The natural order is grateful. And I suspect we will have a great reward for all of you. And I shall do my best to commune with them and find out what we can give you as a thank you. I have perhaps one more re request. Ahem. Are you serious? Let I him, just let him finish. My assistant, as you know, is dead. And I need to find that warden that fell out of the sky. I wanted to save it, but as I saw Lily plummeting to the earth and I heard her terrified screams and pleads through the earrings, I decided to put my energies there instead. So if we could just... The warden dies, that means it's my fault. No, no, not at all. Child. Yes. Your fault? No, no. I made the choice. It was mine to make, and I would not change it. Besides, the wardens are immensely powerful beings, and... I suspect if anything could survive that fall, it would be a warden. But I must find out for sure. It is getting very dark now, and I fear creatures may be uh, out at night that would not be out during the day. So we shall sleep, and in the morning, by your leave, we will move camp to the warden where I can set upon it and start perhaps nursing it back to health. And then, at that point, you will all be free to go with my gratitude and as large a reward as I can muster from the natural order. We weren't able to um, capture the man who did this. The gnome, uh, far and old Urtenfurt, that he we mentioned. He fell out of the sky, though. A boomerang hit him. But we have a lot of information that, a dead man. that I'll share with you when we have a moment. Good. As I said, I appreciate all of you. I must admit, I was not certain what I encountered when I met all of you. Ditto. Well, What's it I is a game of trust, is it not? We, you have all exceeded every expectation. I know that uh, the camp is now broken and disheveled, but Sorry. if there's any way to get some rest, I think we all need it. I will do my best to work on Lily, and if the, if the rest of you can please rest up, heal up, and prepare yourselves to move camp in the morning, and then, as I said, I will let you be on your way. Shouldn't someone keep watch? What yes. if this... Urtenfurt or one of his minions shows up. Or one of these other creatures. The, the body that we left up near your garden, it, it's been eaten by something. There's something not kind in these woods. Well, as you already saw when you investigated the fallen Lodestar, there are many creatures in these woods. Might I have a word with Diptha before you go back to work on her? Of course. But yes, we should keep watch. It's a good idea. I will let that be up to you and I am at your disposal as much as I possibly can be. And <clears throat> he sort of turns back and goes to the back and starts fiddling with more tinctures as he starts to prepare something else, perhaps, to <clears throat> help Lily. Lily, uh, I'll go leaving. He'll be outside okay. all night. You need him, you say name. Okay, I'll be right here. Uh, no, I can't move. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll go at that point. Once she's there, done, and start out in front of the tent and just... Okay. I give uh, Lily's shoulder a squeeze and I leave as well. Ouch. Sorry. It's okay. You know what you meant. Uh, Meep is gonna give you a little hug. Meep. Lily, I, I... I know you're usually the one that cheers us all up, but I did write something for you. If you'd like to hear it, perhaps it would cheer you up. Yes, since you're always singing songs and trying to make us feel better, I'm not going to be nearly as talented as you are. That's not true. But um, 
nothing now that I lost my flute anyway. So. Oh. I'll steal you any flute you want. <laughs> That's any funny. flute you want. Thank you, Siv. I'd love um, to hear it. <clears throat> All right, so Siv is going to pull out this <laughs> tiny little piece of paper uh-huh. that he's been scribbling on. Uh, and he's going to uh, sit down next to your cot. Island Lily, a poem in prose by Siv Red Thistle. <laughs> <laughs> Life, a narrow alley of destitution. Sun's caress foreign to my cheek. My lover, golden treasures. Love's message till now unknown. Washed in the beauty of your kind waters, fearless against nightmare made flesh. As black brains battle astride green brawn, and night sky alight with burned wings, your sweet song holds us all near, floating high on swine steed. <laughs> <laughs> From cursed death, you return me. Some call me terrible thief, and by all accounts, I am. Yet skillfully stolen is my heart by my lovely island Lily. Lily just starts crying. Oh my God. I feel better and sad at the same time. I meant to cheer you up. I did not. You did, you did. It's just maybe one of the nicest things anybody's ever done for me. Well, you've made me a better person and I wanted to repay that debt. You've made me a better person in a way, Juicy. I'm way more aware of enemies. <laughs> <laughs> I know not to trust everybody, including you sometimes. <laughs> and I mean that in the nicest possible way. I take no offense. <laughs> Thanks. That's what I like about you. I think you should probably rest at this point. Probably. I'm going to kiss her forehead. Okay and tuck her broken arm back up on top of her and look around to see if there's anything to wrap it with so it's not just laying there. Yeah, you see some, <clears throat> you see some cloth in the, in the tent you can pick up and okay. use for that purpose. And I will very gently wrap it and I'll probably take out like uh, one of my arrows and break off the head and take out another arrow and break off the head and make like a makeshift splint. splint yeah. yeah. Yeah, so he uses the, the shafts of the arrows to, right. you know, around the, and sets your your arm, and uh, you make your way out of the, Dave, out of the tent. Dave, yeah. Yes? If, for whatever reason, I don't get well enough to go on with you guys, you can take over cheering everyone up. <laughs> very good at it. I, I appreciate that, but I don't think I could ever replace you, nor would I want to. Well, um, thank you. I try to be uh, better, and I'm trying to change my ways because of you. Don't change too much. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> Siv leaves the tent, and Torvald in the back closes the two flaps. Lily lays back to rest, and Diftha and Fahima make their way to the campfire uh, as Ugo sits sentry in front of Torvald's tent. I'd like to go over and sit next to Ugo. Uh, James, you go over and sit next to Ugo. Ugo is, is focused and uh, uh, kind of wrapped up in himself, but you notice uh, uh, over the treetops as night falls, you notice over the treetops sort of a, a flashing of electrical energy in the distance, flashing, flashing. It's almost like if you saw if, uh, you know, how, how Spider-Man would know that Electro was attacking the city, that kind of thing, <laughs> of like this like dull blue illumination that uh, over the treetops kind of reflects off the, the night sky, the clouds in the night sky. And you see it pulse blue, pulse blue, pulse blue, and then stop. And it does not pulse blue again. And Fahima and Diphtha uh, kind of make their way into a uh, separate from the rest of the group. Yes, Jade. Um, 
So, you told us that to find Garampha. Yes, he was the steward of that Lord Star. You told us the best thing we can do is trust. Yes. So, first, we trusted, and it didn't work out. Second, we didn't find Garamtha. I'm sorry. No sign of him at all. Right? We didn't see anything? Oh. No. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I fear he was murdered by whatever was up there. I shall say a prayer for Grumpth tonight. He was a good man. He served honorably. Well, there's a lot of wreckage, so maybe we could attempt to find some sort of trace that he was still up there, but I don't know what else we can do. <clears throat> I appreciate it. Why did you say to trust? It's all we can do. Trust each other. Trust the fates. It's all I could do as I lay incapacitated, waiting, waiting for you. And you, you were a wish come true. Me? All of you. I'm sorry, I just, what you're saying makes sense, but we did trust. And it didn't do anything for us. We got sapped. And evil copies of us were created from trusting. I'm sorry, child, but that's not a reason not to trust. We all encounter unforeseen things. I am no sage. I am no prophet. I only give you advice of what has worked for me. And I, I believe trust is the most important thing. I know you won't sleep well tonight with your friend at death's door, but trust in Torvald. Trust in each other. Trust that your fate holds something for you that is beyond all this. I believe you're special. I trusted that the wardens could protect us. Yes, did I. But perhaps now it's our turn to protect them. And she departs and leaves you <clears throat> with your thoughts at the campfire. James, while you're sitting next to Ugo, um, at some point he kind of looks over at you and starts rifling in his bag and almost shamefully uh, pulls out a flag, but it looks a bit of cloth. It's orange, uh, and you can see a orc fist raised high. What's that? With thorns okay. riling up the... Um, Ugo, Ugo must tell you something. Okay. Ugo did very bad thing. Okay. Ugo feel like have to say before I die one day. Ugo kill father. Seeing Lily, who is like sister. Laying, broken, maybe dead. Make him realize he do wrong. I'll go feel like James understand bad things. Understand weight of darkness. <sighs> That's accurate. Oh, not smart, but he pay attention. I, um, I wanted to apologize to you. Or? When you apologized to me, I, I maybe didn't have the warmest reaction. Um, and I wanted to let you know that I don't like bullies. And I realize now that you may not be a bully. Well, and <laughs> sometimes. But 
you may have reminded me of others in the past who did a very good job of making my life a living hell. So I'm sorry, because it's very obvious to me that you are not. Yeah, I still orc. Violence and still. We're not defined. We're not defined by these things, like race or class or whatever. But I'd like to be your friend. And I'm sorry that I thought such dark things of you. Because you are not like those people from my past. Uh, uh, sorry, Ron needs to know, are you human? Yeah. Uh, uh, James? Uh, Uh, and he just wraps you up. You are, you are brother now. You are blood brother. Uh, and you have dagger. <laughs> um, uh, Do I yeah, hear this? Yes. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very nervous. But, but, um, yes. Uh, and he cuts a. <sighs> Your turn. <laughs> You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you did it! Uh, <sighs> From this day forward, you are Juggo. <laughs> <laughs> we'll work on that, but <laughs> I think I get the sentiment behind it. All right, night falls, and you have a <clears throat> A restless night. Lily, you improve greatly. That whatever it is that Torvald gave you, it is extraordinary. Uh, you you heal your you feel your arm now set <clears throat> in the sling. Uh, have, gain more strength. You feel not like your old self, but pretty close. You're doing a lot better. You're the a night's rest, sleeping soundly in the cot, uh, feeling safe you improve greatly. And the next morning <clears throat> is a flurry of activity. In contrast to sort of the solemnness of the night before, it's a flurry of activity. Uh, Diftha and Tor Torvald are packing things up. You guys all pitch in. You're packing things up, grabbing whatever you can of the camp. There are several tents that you need to uh, put together and wrap up. There are supplies, books, rations. There are things that you need to all move and, and uh, help out together to do. And <clears throat> as you sort of hoist things up and start moving through the forest together, heading toward where you saw, where you saw the yeah, yeah. flashing uh, lights in the in the horizon. Uh, I'm giving Torvald, by the way, a full <clears throat> debrief of all the information yes. from from yesterday. Yeah, yeah. you're walking and, and talking about what happened, and Torvald is is asking you questions about Ertenford and about the things that he had written and what you noticed about all of the the writings. And uh, he he was unaware that this person was up there. He is surprised to hear of it. He knew that. Uh, he suspected that the warden was was uh, captured, but he didn't know how or what, or that it was up there. But he didn't know that it would be, in, um, you know, in peril. And as you walk and and talk, and uh, Ugo, you're carrying Lily still on her cot mm -hmm. uh, with her, but she's doing so much better. She's mm -hmm. uh, really regained a lot of the color in her cheeks, and uh, you see her, you know, uh, gaining much more of her old self back. Uh, you guys are walking, and you see bits of debris from from the, the tower, you see uh, cloud stone, you see metal, you even see <clears throat> a couple of the TikTok army automatons, the robots, uh, broken and, and mangled on the ground. You see singed tree limbs and broken branches where things fell and landed on the ground. It's, it's a, a wasteland of uh, you know, stuff that had been fallen out of the sky. None of it very large, it's very different than the last time where you managed to find a fully formed tower fallen in the, on the ground. This is 
This looks like it had been blown apart well before it ever landed. I know it's a needle in a haystack, but it, can I scout around to try to find her flute? <laughs> yeah. We've been yeah. looking for the We're flute. All, yep. Yeah, everybody's those. looking yep. for the flute. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, Grumpha's body. Yeah, anything. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I feel like we pretty well is, scoured that place, but yeah. It's a, it's a large swath of, of territory, um, but... Roll. Natural 20? <laughs> See? Guidance and helping him out for yeah. advantage, I hope. What is this? Roll in the box? Is this is roll yeah, you can assist him. You can, uh, so is Uggo's going to assist. It gives you advantage on this roll. And okay. I'm giving you guidance. Oh, yeah. Roll in the box. And this roll is perception? In the box. Huh? Perception? Uh, perception. Yeah, investigation. Investigation. Yeah. Okay. Roll in the box. Dunk up. Oh. No, about blue guidance, thunder. It's, it treated, it treated me bad. Got it. He's got it. <laughs> oh. oh, good. Whoops. Oh. You also have advantage, so you get to roll again. Oh, I get to roll again. Okay. So that will be a nineteen plus your investigation. All right. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see. I didn't see what it was. Yeah. No, I know. Ooh. Nah. So nineteen is going to be the better one. All right. So uh, you are. Climbing up trees, looking, spotting any piece of metal you see, you pounce down and, and run over and investigate it and look. Uh, you. I also know it was wedged in a mach- the machine, right? So because she told me that. So yeah. if I see a machine or like a or big pieces of machinery or something, I'll kind of pick through that. Too. Yeah. Uh, it, it, you're not you're not finding anything. You, it, it is a it is a whole day's walk of you. Running and using your uh, your acrobatics to climb up trees and look and, and scout things out and look around and see if there's uh, any glints of metal and then run down, point them out to your your teammates. Nice. They run out and look and nothing. Hmm. Another piece of metal. Oh, it's a broken automaton. It's a strange pipe. Nothing. Uh, you are you, you, you long day of of walking like this. Uggo carrying. Uh, Carrying Lily, by the end of the day, as as you sort of get to midday and past midday, Lily, you're actually want to walk. You're like, I want to walk. I want to. F- I, I feel better. I'm doing better, guys. And uh, Torvald uh, gives you a sort of a smile and a, a wink, and uh, you know, a- acknowledging that the mixture that he gave you had some miraculous effect. And uh, so you guys are, are feeling a little better about Lily's state of, of being, but still unable to find. Anything, <clears throat> and uh, as you kind of come closer and closer to where you suspect the warden had fallen, you see more damage in the forest. You see uh, what looks like a giant swath had been taken out of trees. You know, clearly the warden had landed and skidded for hundreds of feet and taken out massive trees, branches, you know, there's, there's like, like someone took a bulldozer through part of the, the tree. But you're also seeing trees that have been cut down, uh, as you did this whole way. You see marks of trees cut down. You see even the apparent tracks of other creatures, of large other creatures, of uh, maybe even wheels that have moved through here, big ones. Like cartwheels? Bigger than that. Mm. Uh, it, it is a large, as you sort of are moving through the trees, there are fewer trees. There is less forest. There are, uh, this big swath that was cut through as you follow it, thinking that will lead you to the warden. You're also noticing that the trees themselves have been cut down ahead of that. That the, the, there is a... So someone's been logging? Someone has been logging. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and as you enter uh, a, a much wider area of open uh, tree stumps, you see a, an enormous foot <laughs> uh, ahead of you. Two of them, in fact. The soles of it? Yes. Yeah. The bottoms of two enormous feet. Found it. <laughs> <laughs> and as you walk up and around those feet, Torvald, very excited. Uh, we, we must set up camp here. Uh, uh, set things down. And uh, 
Lily, you're walking on your own. Siv, you're out ahead. And you walk around the feet and you notice, to your surprise, a stake in the ground with some rope leading up and over uh -oh, the foot. And another one 50 feet farther down. And another one. And another one. And then you look around the side and you see a wooden tower and a green orc face standing in that tower and three more orcs at the base of that tower. Whoa. Oh, we are going to have to kill them all. And that's where we'll stop. <laughs> So, but what about the magic boomerang? <laughs> <laughs> so, that was a fun episode. Oh my guys. gosh. Oh my God. Yeah. Got, all right? It got real. It got real. Got real. Uh, and more thank real. you all. Uh, thank you all yeah. for, for watching and being with us. Ugh. Thank you for giving us so much advantage. And I think we got one force of good that was nice. Um, next week, we will continue our journey here in the woods, now facing some orcs that seem to have taken claim of the warden themselves somehow, some way. And we will find out what happens next with our, our friends <sighs> as Lily recovers. Uh, I hope you will join us next week. Uh, that was a really fun one, and I really yes. appreciate you guys. It was a lot. Uh, we'll see you next Wednesday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Thanks so much. Uh, Thanks, everybody. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs>